Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games. And today, 7800 games. Yay. We're going to be playing two of them. Nice. Um, today we're going to be playing uh, Circus Atari Age, um, which is a brand new release, of uh, updated release. And the cat is eating fluff off the ground. Yeah, good job, cat. Uh, we're going to be playing Mondo Pong, which we tried to play the other day. But Thomas, Yench has supplied us a fix for it oh, so we hooray. can play it. Oh, hooray. Good, good, good. Uh, we're going to be checking out Stella Sketch, um, which is a mm -hmm. virtual... Uh, Etch-a-Sketch. Etch-a-Sketch. Nice. And the two 7800 games are Dragon's Cash uh, by Revan Tooley, who loves dragons, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> and Spire of the Ancients by Smitty B, who is in the chat with yes, us. Hello. So he's going to be able to uh, answer all your questions and help us out. There is, yep. Um, oh, let's fix that. Audio sync issues. Audio sync issues. Uh, that should be better. Uh, let me know if it is better. Say better. Type B-E-T-T-E-R. Uh, our Twitch subscribers, thank you so much. Al Nifer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles the Check, Dianoid, Ground Trooper, Jan Zelen L, Johnny WC23, Carl G. Croco 2600. Much better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Carl G. Croco 2600, Cuba 6969, Mark Space Inc., MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nun, uh, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Borcardo Pim, Six Sweet, Sir Cat Lake, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spice Rest from 2008, The D Train, Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. And I want to thank Packrat VG for renewing their subscription. They're Lovely. up to three months Yay. of supporting us. Thank you so much. Yeah. And if you would like to do that too, for free, if you've got Amazon Prime, just link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Absolutely free if you'd like to help us out and make sure you follow and subscribe to youtube twitch instagram twitter everything all else. the platforms all the platforms yeah. so you can keep up to date with what games we're going to be playing yeah audio sync now perfect and you said you have a Excellent. discord channel now too i don't have a discord channel well it's your page <laughs> Uh, Atari Age has a Discord oh, okay, channel. Okay, okay. And we do visit there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I do sorry, chat I there. thought it was. I thought it was specifically zero page. No, yeah. that sounds like a pain in the ass. To yeah. maintain. <laughs> I'll leave Atari Age. To okay. Do that. So Atari Age has a Discord. Yeah, channel. and it's lots of fun. Um, you can go in there and chat with all the people that you see here. Nice. Well, not all of them. Some of them. Some of them. <laughs> uh, people from the forums, Atari Age forums, and they've got different chat channels. Yeah. Um, they've got a homebrew chat, which is where I normally hang out. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. Um, classic consoles, modern consoles. Nice. Programming, hardware mods, classic computing, a whole bunch of different categories. Mm. Um, and you can just, and you, the good thing is that you can scroll back in the chat mm. and see what people have said previously. And it's not like Twitch where you join and it's empty. <laughs> and if you lose connection, yeah, it's you lose all the chat in between. Yeah, that's true. It just doesn't store it. I mean, no, it, it yeah. just doesn't want to. It doesn't want to. It's like, yeah. nope, I don't want to store any of this information. Yeah. It's gone if you don't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Audio sync is a few seconds off here. Well, uh, can't do much about that. Restart. Um, yeah, hmm. I've done my fix. I, I Perfect moved here. It. Everyone's a little oh, different, good. maybe. Okay. Yeah. I've moved everything around here a little bit um, for the better. <laughs> um, because I got, you can see in the webcam in the lower right hand corner, it is an updated for Switch Atari. <gasps> and this is from Al nice. from Atari Age. Nice. And it is an S video. Okay. Um, Atari VCS. Yes. So we were on composite for a while because the um, RGB went down. Yeah. So I quickly made, not quickly, it took me a while <laughs> to get an, uh, a composite one, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. It's not great. It's yeah. It's better than RF, but it's yeah. fine. And Al sent over this S video version of it. Nice. Which is a quite a decent upgrade. Yeah. From composite. Um, I'd say it's way closer to RGB yeah. than composite. Mm. So it's a lot cleaner. It's not RGB, but RGB is almost in the hands of Nathan Strum. Yes. It's almost there. Yes. It's, it's like it's cities flying, away, a couple cities away. Yeah. yeah, flying across the country. So it's almost there. And it's going to be, um, he's going to give a good attempt to resurrect it mm. and uh, make it work again. Mm -hmm. um, 
So some mail news and feedback. Uh, Brian Mathern, Arena Foot, posted on Thursday. He said, "Is with a sad heart, I would like to let all of the Atari community know that I just found out Ed Riley, aka Wink Dot, passed away last October. Mm. Ed was a programmer who created at least seven known Atari 2600 homebrew games: uh, Cows, Alien Pinball, The Deep, Orb, Doom Patrol, Shark Jaws, and The Goons, which we played a number of them on the show. Um, and uh, I messaged." Ed as well about some of those games to get information on the show. Mm. Ed helped me to cover two of his titles, The Deep and Doom Patrol, for my book series. When I reached out to him for the title Orb uh, was when I found out about his death from his daughter, Lindsay. As we never met in person, we had several conversations through the Atari Age forums and on Facebook. He had plans in 2018 to come out to the Houston Arcade Expo and attempt attend my book signing there, but medical issues came up and he had to cancel. In honor of Ed, I have made a dedication ROM pack of his games and document uh, and a document contained within the pack with information about him. I know Ed would want as many people to play his games as possible. May you get a perfect score playing your games in heaven. Uh, FYI, the ROM pack is uploaded on all of his homebrew games thread in the Atari Age Forums Batari Basic section. So mm -hmm. if you want to go check out um, Ed Riley's uh, games, Wink Dot's games, you can go check that out in the Atari Age Forums. So That's it's very, very sad. Very yeah. sad. That, uh, that he passed away, but his games will live on and you can honor him by, by playing, playing his games. games. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as I just want to let everybody remind everybody, I don't know if they even announced this, Zero Page Homebrew has a club on the Atari Age forums. Um, clubs are kind of another section of the Atari Age forums. And clubs are great for very specific subjects or mm -hmm. specific things you want to do or a collection of people and you can create them yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, they're good for not cluttering up the main forums. If there's something like really specific that people want to talk more about, um, and the good way to set, set up your own section with discussion threads, calendar, blog, and members list and zero page homebrew has one so that we can just keep all the zero page stuff in one. I have my own thread, just one thread about what games are coming up and mm -hmm. I keep a calendar there, but this is for like just things things that are happening mm. so you can go check that out um i'll post that in the chat one second oh, that's just spam <laughs> just got a just got a text message from canada post about nothing mm -hmm. reminding me that i get text messages from canada post <laughs> there you go there's the club <laughs> Um, and I just ordered uh, two 9-pin to USB 2600 uh, adapters. And now we'll be able to play the paddle games through cool. an emulator in Raspberry or, or on a Raspberry okay. Pi as well. Yeah. So in Stella too. In Stella. Okay. So because we had trouble last episode with one of the games. Yeah. And then I took it into Stella and it's like, well, you have to use a mouse because yeah. I don't have an adapter. So yeah. I'm like, that's it. I'm getting these. Yeah. It's also useful for um, Atari Vox as well. Okay. Anything that you want to attach that's an original controller for the Atari will let you do it and attach with it that, to a that PC. Control. Okay. Or um, to a Raspberry Pi okay. as well. Neat. So on the go, have a little portable Atari system. Nice. Um, and uh, yeah, you can PC, Mac, Raspberry Pi, or uh, a game console that supports USB HID. Uh, no drivers needed, and I bought the upgraded one. So pretty much any 9-pin game controller works, including all the Genesis controllers, Sega mm -hmm. Master System controllers, 3DO, FM Towns, Marty, Fairchild. I can even attach Fairchild controllers, controllers. to it. Because <laughs> there's some people who do Fairchild homebrew, and oh, I have a Fairchild, so that would be very interesting. Yeah. Also 7800 controllers as well. Okay. So that will be really, really good. Um, Albert posted in, um, actually the discord channel, uh, yesterday, he said we should have two 7,800 flash carts soon enough. One from Fred Quimby, who did the harmony cart and one from retro HQ. So that got me digging, mm. um, looking for more information about it. Um, and retro HQ has one going, it says, um, they posted a while ago in September, uh, they post a picture of the uh, flash card. Small embedded boot ROM, uh, 512K um, SRAM, 
512k serial flash for menu slash firmware and a micro sd for storage sounds awesome um and he says planning on putting pokey support in there and that's the upgraded sound chip that the 7800 has um, it also has built in the same sound chip as the 2600 for backwards compatibility mm. um, but 7800 games can use that too uh also should have 2600 support so you can play 2600 games on this sd flash card on the 7800 so it's your all-in-one solution for that um and it requires this 28 2600 mappers to be implemented too so they have work to do on that um and that was back in september so i look for the 2020 update um and they said once and somebody said once the jag and lynx carts because they also make those get back to market he'll be working on this again but no definitive date when that will be done he also said Fred Quimby is working on it, whose name is Batari in the forums. Mm -hmm. um, he posted yesterday about it, so this is brand new information. Um, on the Concerto cart, that's what he's calling it, the 7800 cart, mm -hmm. SD cart, I do still have the parts to make about a dozen more Concertos. However, now I'm planning to breathe new life into the existing Concerto by revisiting the firmware. If I can get the firmware to be reliable, then those existing Concerto boards, he says about a dozen, I will have uh, be able to be saleable again. An existing concerto could update their firmware to the new version, and new concertos could be based on the existing hard hardware. The specs will be unchanged, but current concerto is not very production friendly. Uh, the IC count could be reduced. And he also said uh, there's a concert concert concertino mm -hmm. concertino i'm sure that's a that sounds about musical right. word <laughs> Con yeah. concertino. concertino as for the new direction i was taking but not working out as i planned uh this is a more basic 7800 flash card. low cost design one that doesn't play all the 7800 games but should handle a decent percentage of the library i met, uh, mentioned this in another thread i might have said this is the new concerto but the architecture is different enough that it shouldn't be called a concerto thinking of concertino or concertino with his, which is a diminutive version of a cons concerto <laughs> the good news he says concertino could be ready for release by mid summer so just a couple more months and there could be one out excellent for everyone mm. but it doesn't play all the 7800 games okay um he it's limited say, in some ways yeah. yeah i think by memory so would mm. play bigger ones he didn't give a full list here or i didn't probably, find it probably find out more as as, as it gets, gets closer. closer yeah yeah it, it probably would cover like 95 percent of them so that is very good news because then we'll be able to play 7800 games on an actual piece of hardware rather than emulator which we're going to mm. be doing today which is very clear picture but mm. i'd rather play it on actual hardware the actual controllers um, so we're getting on to our first game now, which is Circus Atari. Um, uh, this is 2020 Work in Progress by Jeff Johnson, a.k.a. Omega Matrix. This has been worked on for a very long time, seven years so far. Wow. <laughs> yep. um, uh, he hasn't forth. worked on yeah. it for a while. Yeah. Um, since about 2015, 16 was the last big update. Okay. But this build is from yesterday. Mm. Um, it's an 8K F8 game. Um, other games he's made... This is really the only full from scratch game he's ever made. Okay. He made Venture Reloaded, which is almost 100% redo, uh, redone of Venture. Okay. Um, and he's made a ton of hacks, a ton of trackball hacks, uh, PAL NTSC conversions, and we're the uh, we looked at his menu hacks the other day too. Remember those mm -hmm. where he put a menu? Oh yeah, yeah, Added yeah, yeah. a menu that to some cool. classic games. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Ground Trooper, for resubscribing. 20 months. Oh my god. That's a lot of months. <laughs> uh, so sorry I'm late. I had a burglar alarm go off in my store and I had to go check on it. Well, that is important. Yes. Um, was yeah. there a burglar? I hope I hope there wasn't a burglar. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it was just the burglar just, alarm. Yeah, the alarm. As you said, most yeah. likely. Uh, now, Circus Atari Age is based on an arcade game from 1977 mm. um, by Exidy. Uh, we're going to take a look at that video of the arcade game. Um, so it's very, very simplistic. Oh, where's my ring? Oh, it's in the bathroom. <laughs> you go get my ring. Sure. Thank you. Oh, no. Naked. Naked, <laughs> Naked finger. Um, all is okay. I had to sort out some sort of false alarm, thankfully. 
Especially with all the looting yeah, going on, I was no. freaking out. Oh no, are Be you very in careful. one of those areas? Yeah. Or just about anywhere in the U.S.? I don't know. Depends on where you are. Yep. Okay, so this is Circus, or it says also Acrobat TV. Um, so let's go over to screen capture. There we go. Let's not blast out your eardrums. Let me turn it down before I turn it on this time. There we go. So here you control the guy at the bottom, which is kind of a teeter totter thing okay. that you would see in circuses with from the acrobats. Funny. Oh my goodness! And uh, your goal is to pop all the balloons at the top. <laughs> now it was a um, black and white game, and I think those stripes are like colors they had on the screen. Oh, not um, like a not like a Vectrex uh, this overlay. This is it kind of it, it kind, kind of, of was a Vectrex overlay, I gotcha. believe. Um, Circus is an Atari, uh, Circus is an arcade game. Released by Exidy in 1977. Mm. The game is a rethemed variant of Atari's Breakout. So it's kind of like Breakout, but the things are moving in this mm. one. The balloons are moving. And they're not bricks, they're balloons. So a little bit higher level graphics. Oh, Great Offender, subscribe. Thank you very much, Great Offender. Um, uh, where the player controls a seesaw and the clown and clown in order to pop all the balloons in the, net, in the level. The game has been copied and released under different names by numerous other companies in both the United States and Japan. And it, it looks like, like this Do you have person... to catch him or no? Because it seems like the guy hits the ground sometimes. He may be cheating. Oh, I see. A lot of these cheat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just to show the gameplay. Just, just that would make sense. Because yeah. I'm like, I'm. It doesn't look like he's always catching him on the. Yeah. No, on the he spring, missed him on the springboard. That's why he's kind of sitting to the side most of the time. He's not. See, yeah, yeah he's cheating. <laughs> but in the real game, you have to catch him. Gotcha. And it looks like he, and it, you do have to catch him on the proper side too. I believe. Oh, gotcha. You can't just catch him anywhere. Whoa, oh. whoa. Anyway, this is kind of what the arcade This is the arcade like. version. Okay. Yeah, so it's not 2600 version. We're not there yet. No. <laughs> um, so now we're going to take a look at the 2600 version that originally was put out. Okay. Um, and it, uh, yeah. I always really wish people would state in the title whether they are cheating. I yeah, know. That one, I know. That one doesn't say they're cheating, and a lot of them don't. I, I know. We were looking at other games too, and I'm like, there's no way they're playing that game, yeah, and not getting hit, you know? Yeah, and it's like, no, they're yeah. getting hit. Yeah, and, and it's, it's fine because, as you say, sometimes they want to show it the off. The best way to show off all the levels is to play play it in that that version, but yeah, it just yeah made work hamburger time a bit of a yeah. pain. Oh yeah, yeah, because then you're like, why why didn't they die there? That's really weird. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna take take a look at the original. Um, Okay. Attempt by Atari to make this game. Okay. Um, it's going to be blocky. Of course. Okay. Really? This one was released in 1970. 1980. Um. Atari Ready. <laughs> ready. I love the ready. Let's make sure it is ready. Output to come on the screen. There we go. Take a look at that output. Gorgeous and clean. Look how much better it looks. Thank you so much, Al, <laughs> for sending this over. Oh, back to goodness. Doesn't that look good? So, 31. Uh, oh, no, no, we have to go back. Actually, go back. Oh, that's so sensitive. Uh, go to um, 1977 to 92. Oof. And then it's Circus, uh, Atari Circus, so A. Sorry. Okay. That'll be under the same one yeah, anyway. Ah, 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 ah. Up, up. I'm not touching it. What's going on? <laughs> because you're going down. So you have to Stop. put it back to center once I know, you find it. I know. This is not... uh, uh, you went past it. What? I think you said circus. it was Atari. Oh, Atari Circus, yes. Well, we'll see what it named it. I don't see it. But... No, I think it's under Circus then. Oh, this is oh. terrible. Oh, yeah. It's not there. So go to a circus. Uh, yeah, you not... passed it. Oh, goodness. This is not 
H I. One more. Just what? Oh, I saw it, I think. Did you? That. There we go. All right. Hooray. Sure. Yeah, don't click on the wrong one. You'll have to do it all over again. <laughs> Definitely not sensitive. the best. Uh... Not the best input for menus. Or it's just too sensitive. So you do have the little guy at the bottom. That's yeah. not bad. It's got the seesaw. But as you can see at the top, it's it's a lot of blocks. And we have to do game reset, of course. And it should be the... Yeah, it's got the little guy there. And, you, and I believe you press the button to switch the seesaw. No, it no? automatically switches okay. every time. Okay, well that's good, I guess. One less thing to do. How do, how do you get up there? there Eventually we go. gets up there, I guess. It increases in height, I guess, as time goes on. Um, so this was oh. released in 1980 by Mike Lorenzen. Uh, yes, this is S video. Um, it was composite before, so this is a lot cleaner. If I switch to composite, you will see it's just kind of a mushy mess, and we've had to put up with that for a long time. Next asteroids, please. Next asteroids. <laughs> oh, play asteroids next. Well, that's not on the agenda today. <laughs> Uh, the difference between 1977 technology and 1987 crisp lines you could cut yourself on. Yeah, no <laughs> interference. Isn't it awesome? I mean, it's it's got a little bit of lines, but it's pretty, pretty clean. Yeah. So, yep, oh, very basic. <gasps> yeah, he squished his head there. Yeah, you have to get him on the edge. So they made some compromises. You know, they've got the colored blocks at the top. This is terrible. I'm not sure if they used a uh, play field <laughs> or if... anywhere looks like you can hit yeah you can hit no anywhere. you can't no? no no if you're too far um it he'll he'll die try. even if you're under him so you're too far over you kind of have to well if you can't get him in it, the middle to the side if you can't switch it what do you what do you how do you hmm? no i mean he can land on the seesaw anywhere no if he's too far to the other guy like he he will he, well, he will go splat. It. Oh, you can. Yeah. How are you switching it? The button. Button. Uh, I wasn't playing with that. That makes sense. That would ex explain why. Yeah, I was wondering. It's like, well, how can how can how, you... how do you get him when he's when he hits the far end and that makes get sense. up there. Get up there. It takes forever to get up there. Do you have to put it on a spurt, certain spot? I don't like on know. the oh. See, that's, that, that kills there. you. You have to switch. That makes more sense because I couldn't figure out. I'm like, oh, it's automatic. Oh, death. you have to get at the end of the tramp, at, right at the end of it. That makes sense. To get well, higher. Yeah, that makes sense. It does, yeah. Yeah. There. That physics. Oh, God. <laughs> get up there. There we go. Eventually. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want it straight yes. up. And just like breakout, if you can get him up way up there and uh, hitting a bunch and get stuck up there. Come on. I love the blocky balloons. <laughs> it's not bad for 1980. No, no it works. The, the mechanism of it works. Oh. And it's logical. It seems to be doing fine. One more life and then we'll move on. Oh, the next level. Just barely. Oh, no, I still have one more life. Maybe I got an extra There are quite life. a few lives, actually. I think you get about, what, five? Five? Because I thought after my third guy died, I'd be like, oh, it's all done, but you actually have I mean, it's not easy. It's not. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's very, very close. Uh, Yeah, it looks like play field for the balloons, because they are moving kind of... Mm, you can tell only, by how by their movement, then. If only play field pix pixels were shapeable. Oh, my mm. God. If they only put in just a little bit more RAM... Just a teeny tiny. Just a tiny bit more than, f like they only dedicated twenty bits for Playfield. Really? And, and then you had to reprogram it for the second half of the screen. Twenty bits on the left. Oh, that's. Then twenty wow. bits on the right. Um, but it, it's fine. <laughs> to make hundred and sixty um, pixels wide, but if they put if they dedicated hundred and sixty bits. You could do so such good graphics. Oh, okay. Did you yeah, just? I did. I you did. Okay. Um, 
So, was it this one? I can't remember. Yep, this one's warm. <laughs> there you go. So, now we're going to take a look at Omega Matrix's uh, version. Um, so, Which let's one? go to the first one, the 2013. 2020? Oh, okay, the old one? Yep. And now this is the one where he showed it off of the PRGE 2013. Okay. Omega Matrix presents. Very nice. Circus Atari Age. Pierre. <laughs> I was what? looking at the screen. Ah! Always pressing the button as what? soon as it, possible. It, it, was there more happening I there? I was looking at it. <laughs> it's like click, click, click. Yeah, Will forget, it go back if I die? Forget all those graphics that he worked so hard on. Oh, we don't need to see he those. He splats with blood. Oh, you could. Nope, doesn't go back. Why don't I just die? Here. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Just, just watch you the and Aaron beautiful. Both do that. Click, 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 click. The skip the menu. Skip the menu. We skip dialogue. Play the game. Skip menu. It's terrible. <laughs> okay, that should be our last life or this one. Oh, starts over. <laughs> Never goes back to the menu. Okay. Well, your punishment is to navigate back. All right. And not skip. Um. So his first Ready. post. Um. Let's see. It's for the PRG said it looks like uh, Circus Atari Age might make an appearance of PRG. And there will be a whole slew of other great games there as well. I'm still trying to find time time to play test some of these games. But in the meantime, Circus Atari Age. Oh, what? Yeah. Did that move over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. He, he incorporated that Atari Age symbol into into the start title. That's very cool. I want to see that again. <laughs> I missed that. I didn't even notice that. It's so subtle. <laughs> it's so I subtle. Noticed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not paying attention. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what's happening. Uh, see? That's the harmony and then, part. And then it, then it changes to that and then moves and over. And that's part of the opening scene. See, he knew it was going to be on a... On a an Atari box. On, on a harmony cart then. Yeah. Because that wouldn't happen if it was on a normal... Yeah. Wow. That's, that's very... Really that's really nice interesting. Touch. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, so it's got a nice marquee. I like that, yeah. And little excited people and... Excited like clowns, a, yeah. Yeah, and some balloons down there. PRGE demo. <laughs> And oh, it started. It's well. Does it uh, automatically? I didn't. Replay? I didn't hit the button, so I don't know. You can give it a second. Nope. Okay. Go for it. Letters are animated too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and bleeding. Oh, poor uh, little. I know he, he. Oh gosh, that's really sensitive. The other one. Was... <gasps> oh my goodness. The other one was. Was. Uh... You have to get it perfectly on. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you have to. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness so his original post um the challenge here is the original has blazing speed and it made the game a lot of fun as your stick man would get thrown around quickly i refuse to call him a clown because honestly clowns scare the crap out of me <laughs> so i'm sticking to the original here showing stick men from a colorblind person's perspective, in my honest opinion, I find the stickman much easier to distinguish when he's moving quickly amongst the balloons than when he's a solid color. It's very uh, interesting. Very smart, actually, if he's a different color than the balloons. Hmm. Um, I changed the balloon colors on every line, but currently I'm just doing two colors. So this is old information. Um, it'd be interesting to see if the animation would look better by increasing luminance or altering colors on certain frames. I don't know yet. One interesting observation I've made doing all this jerky animations appear to scroll faster than s smooth. Just an optical illusion, though. But I regress. I meant to be talking about the original game's speed. If you look at the moving platforms, that's the original speed. So at six frames, I'm running half as fast as I would like. Not sure how, incre how to increase the speed without sacrificing smooth graphics. But anyway, this isn't the newest version of the game. Okay. So, um, and then he made a very, very cool... Um, screen. Ready. The game isn't in this version we're about to show, but he made some very cool title screens that 
he stripped out of the new version but we're going to take a look at them anyway because they're awesome so the second one 2016 what it's not working that's weird nope let me try it manually go down to it stay there Mm, that's not allowed it. What? What? Hmm. That's what? weird. What? Okay. We're Try gonna to show it on uh, Stella for some reason. It's not working. Do you want me to? St okay. Yeah, just stay on there. That's fine. Yes, he is going to be moving to ARM. We will get to that. are animated too yeah stereo sound hmm. uh yes actually mm. uh al's atari 2600 mm. it has stereo output oh uh nice. what stereo output means on the 2600 isn't what you think it means okay. um, <laughs> the atari uh, the 2600 has two sound channels so actually we'll load this up we'll talk about that while we're playing oh oops 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 Stella, there we go. Um, Circus Atari H. Uh, let me get all the right things looking the right way. There we go. Just don't want to miss this. Cause... Oh, stupid thing. Pop, 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 pop. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it obviously a go. new screen because his old screen was for PRG. Yeah, you had yeah. to make a new screen. Yeah, and or, this is or open um, screen. this is non-functional. Okay, you can't do anything here. Okay, um, it's just for showing off what uh, uh, menu could be. And mm. This is very reminiscent of his menus that he makes. Um, uh, it's got players, paddle, two, both paddles. I guess on two players you could yes you would alternate switch back, back and, and forth. forth yeah barriers on barriers interesting power ups I guess we'll go through the options we'll see what all those are mm -hmm. bounces bounce off hmm speech and I believe there is Atari Vox he's planning oh, on some Atari Vox stuff but not not I this version I don't have know it. yet oh we'll, well see. the newest version might maybe yeah but I don't think so yeah it's got high score as well so very very nice title screen yeah um. And also, this is very nice as well. Yeah. It resets. There we go. Pop, 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 pop. Yay. Ah, boy. Very cute. Yeah. Very, 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 very nice. Very, very cute. So let's go back to the newest version now. So go back up. Just not working anymore. Weird. Maybe it just needs a reboot. No, it's definitely this one. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. Oh, well. That might have worked then. It just, yeah. It just that gave up on the button. Plus. I had that happen before. Ready. I hope it's not the... Um, so he posted yesterday, Hello all. Well, I haven't fully picked this up yet. I have stripped most of the fluff out of the game in the process oh, of relearning what the heck I did. Yeah, that one. Uh, then to start building it back up again. Yep, go for it. What is going on? Once you get in there, it's... Oh, oh, oh no, no, that worked. just not pressing it hard enough or the right I way. I don't know. Button's bad. No. It's not... Button's disagreeable. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That's very strange. I've had this happen before. Yeah? Some, with the must, paddles? Something with the harmony cart. Like, it gives up. Like, it just doesn't hmm. work. Hmm. And it also doesn't There's work no, manually either. Like yeah. Here. Why don't, uh, what if I don't hit the button and you just do it manually? We're going to do, Maybe. Gonna plug a controller in to get oh, in there. Oh, to get in there. And then go back. Okay. Let's see what happens. Hold it. We'll, well this see. will work. I've never had it fail on a controller. Oh. I think you have to reset though. Oh, okay. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. Yeah, I'm not sure what what is happening there when it does that. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, so there's no opening screen. No, he stripped everything out. Just, just, just the, game. the game. Okay. So make sure it works. It should, hopefully. Yep. Because there's no auto sensing and things like that. Um, this build of Circus Star Age will allow people to play without interruption. Uh, you also gain a life every hundred points, up to nine lives maximum. Uh, if you're good, you can probably play this indefinitely. Oh wow! <laughs> so I guess it doesn't get harder. It just, too much it harder. just I stays. guess it speeds up. Progress on this project will uh, has been slower than expected due to some detours for menu games, which we appreciate a lot because those menus are awesome. Oh, we didn't even open up. No, nope, we'll do it after. We'll after. Do it after. Yeah. One second. Ah, ah, ah. So the balloons are gorgeous, and there's so many different colors. Two two colors on each line. Nope. I always I, I keep forgetting to flip over. Oh oh, it's fast. Oh, it does. If it hits right at the edge, which gets them up higher, but makes them makes faster. Makes makes them a lot faster. Is the button working to flip? Yeah, but I. Oh, okay. I you have to get a really good Squish. feel for... Um, oh, it started over. Uh, I would expect the next update would be several months from now and in the form of an ARM game. So he's going to be using um, ARM to, I guess, uh, speed up some of the drawing. So right now this is... Uh, what is this? Just an 8K F8 game. So it's not utilizing any uh, extra hardware in it. Great under him. <laughs> the balloon popping was alternating between oh. left and right. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, my goodness. So it made for a very interesting sound. Oh, yeah, I can see it on the, the meters that's popping left and right. So, um, talking about uh, stereo with uh, the Atari. If you look on Atari's original Atari's, like the the ones that are there, like the, is that a grill marks? No, that one's filled in. If you look on like six switch Atari's, um, you'll see like open little round grills almost on them, where it looks like there's speakers. Oh, I guess those are the little boundy things on the side. Bumpers. Yeah, they bounce. He'll bounce off of it, or he'll, he'll jump right. off of it. But those would be easy to get to. Like, if if there, he was going to land there, you'd just slam it to the right. So I don't know if those are, like, help. No, no they lot. do help. They do help a lot, I think. Yeah. But sort of save you a little bit, but... Really hard. Yeah. It's very, very cool. It gets hard when there's only a few balloons left, like yeah. targeting a few sure, balloons. Like just have to keep bouncing, bouncing. Oh, oh whole lines. Oh, when you get everything oh, in the line. Oh, and the line, it, the that new, the new line comes. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Neat. It's very hard to target. Like, I guess maybe yeah. if you're an expert, you could target. Yeah. But, I mean, right now I'm just, like, surviving. It is kind of a surviving game. You just go as long as you can. And hope to hit something <laughs> yeah. when you're up there. Yeah, I think, I mean, if it, it is all about the angle with which he hits the um, the seesaw. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. Uh. Um, so, yeah, definitely you could get good at it and be able to direct it a little bit. 111. Oops. Okay, sorry. Oh, no, no, sorry. I wasted a life. That's okay. Um, yeah, if you look on Six Switch, um, Atari's light and heavy ones, uh, there's kind of round cutouts in the Atari. And what was theorized is that they were planning on building in the sound into the, tar the Atari itself and putting speakers in the Atari. Because most consoles before the Atari had the sound... Uh, going through the actual device rather than the TV. They separated out the video from the audio. And it's actually really good that they didn't make it built in because we can, you know, output sound and do lots of things with the sound. But, um, so they had two sound channels 
one for one sound and one for another sound. Um, and internally, it's actually um, left and right, but they mixed it together, I believe. They mixed it together for the output. Um, so people have modded their Ataris to make them stereo and separated one sound channel to the left and one sound channel to the right. And that is how this, um, this mod is. So it's very different from mine, which just put both sounds together. But is it stereo? Technically. Is it really stereo? Well, to make it really stereo, you would have to output kind of the same sound from both sides and then put, put it in one more than the other to give it position. Right now it's slammed either hard left or hard right, which is probably crazy sounding for headphone people. For people who have it on speakers, it's not so bad because it's just kind of there. So this is an obvious huge upgrade from the original 1980 because the balloons look like balloons, which is really, really nice. And he's mm -hmm. able to get tons and tons of balloon balloons by doing flicker. It's really good. It looks really, really good. And the balloons and the, and, and the movement, like each line, the strings on the balloons are yes, slightly sir. different. So like little details make it look really uh, yeah. sharp. I like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, the lower balloons sway back and forth. The middle balloons drag their tails and the upper balloons drag the other way. I lo I, it looks really, really good. A lot of detail. A lot more detail than the original. <laughs> oh, yeah. Than yeah. the original Atari. Yeah. And the colors. Too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really great. Better than the arcade version. Uh, I think so. Well, yeah, it's got more colors. It's more yeah. colors. It looks really good. Um, I'm always interested in how people decide which games they're going to, to port. Yeah. It's like, did you like it in the arcade or just some programming thing that you figured out that is like, oh, that'll help me make this game. Or just you find the game and you're like, oh, I can improve on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Or, you know, this one hasn't been ported. Yeah. People like this game. Like, that could be better and I know how that could be better. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no, he's like, yeah, exactly. When when Atari put it out, it was just blocks. So it was yeah. Like, well, I know how to do balloons. Yeah. So let's make <laughs> one make with balloons. balloons so it's better. Yeah. Uh, 117. Doing better. Try and make it to 200. Get my extra life. Oh, my God. It gets really crazy fast sometimes. It is a lot like Breakout, which was the inspiration for this game, um, the arcade game, it says. Um, mm, yeah. Except it's balloons instead of bricks, yeah. and you're well, and they're an moving. actual guy they're instead moving, of a right? paddle. Oh, sorry. Oh. I just, I think I touched his ear. <laughs> <laughs> he was not he expecting it. He was asleep. It. Oh. Mm, he's like, ah, oh, something's attacking my ear. Don't worry, it's not your brother. <laughs> It's a bad cat. Yeah. Oh, got it. Yes. Nice. Oh, you're it's doing good very when, well. It's good when you get that last balloon because then there's tons more that you can pop all in a row. Yeah. It's very nice. Way to go. Oh, it was 151. <laughs> One more game. So this is Omega Matrix? Omega Matrix. Nice. Good. Very nice. First fully original game. Well, port, I suppose. Uh, yeah, port. Yeah. Um, yeah. Non-hack. Non -hack. Yeah. Ah! Uh. Yes. No! So close. Oh, what? smoosh. I thought he was going to bounce off the side. Yeah, see, that's, that's, that's where it gets me. Where you think he's going to be wow. saved. I also find I'm not so great with the paddle. I find it sticky when you first move. No, this paddle is perfect. No, no, but I mean, I mean, just the nature of its movement is, oh. is it's a little slow when you first move it. And sometimes I think I'm 
moving and I'm not, if that makes sense. Oh. Like I, I, I'm too light. Oh, I'm turning okay, yeah. It. Yeah. It is a... So I just don't quite get under it. I think you have to, you, you need to practice with those paddles and get, yeah, get paddles. comfortable with them, but... Paddles are, are Never unique. mind. They're unique. <laughs> they are they're really very like unique. literally unique yeah. to this system. Very cool. It was a very terrible game. Got eighty. Eighty? Oh. Yeah. Well, you still did better than me. <laughs> I love I the you balloons. Got a new row. Huh? I thought you got a new row. Well I might have, but Oh that's true. I'm it wasn't. <laughs> I didn't. <gasps> no, little squishy dude. Uh, there is oh Captain Classic said there is a variation of Breakout that has moving bricks so probably similar oh, okay. in play Damn it. to this game then not oh, quite exactly but oh we haven't similar. tried to see if there's variations of Breakout of this see if there's different um, game modes yeah oh not in this one it automatically starts uh no you, oh maybe, you mean on the yeah, switches on the switches uh -huh. not through a menu but yeah I can test that out. Uh, the button, so splendid nut, the button switches um, the teeter totter. Yes. So if the guy jumps to the far left, you'll have to switch the teeter totter to get him to spring back up if, if your dude is on the left hand side, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 123. Yeah. Which is, yeah, something that takes a bit of practice. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get a splat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The splat yeah. is great, by the way, and very graphic. <laughs> it is very graphic. Oh. oh. Okay. That's enough. Let's try see if there... No, there's no variations. No? No. no. Not that you can tell. Yeah. Not yet. Or it doesn't visually show up, at least. Yeah. Very fun. Mm hmm It looks really good. Yeah. A so. real improvement over... <laughs> the original and the arcade too, really. Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah. Um, so look for updates in several months, he says, and he'll be updating it to an ARM version, so it'll be faster. I mean, I don't know what he could do to improve it. Like, mm. the balloons look really good. Maybe it's easier to handle all those balloons with the ARM. Yeah, probably. Um, next one, we're going to be playing Mondo Pong, finally. That one looked like a lot of fun. It was two-player Pong. Yeah. With crazy balls spinning around uh, from 1998. So hopefully the menu is going to agree with us. But first we're going to open Yay! this. Oh, 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 calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Do that was open it? it. There you go. Do you have scissors? Yep. Hooray. I suppose it says I've been like looking forward buttons. to this version. Yeah, the button switches back and forth. Splendid nut. Yay. A little trampoline. Or the seesaw. I don't know what they would call that. It's not really seesaw. Ooh. I think we know what this is. Yes, we do. Oh. Maybe they have to show that. <laughs> oh, maybe. Or they just didn't do a good job of zipping it up. <laughs> what is going on there? Get in there. Tuck it in. Maybe it needs to just be cut out. That's okay. Goodness. Not fully, does not come fully assembled. <laughs> no, it's a little do it yourself. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it's on both sides. Yes! Oh, I didn't even realize that. Look at that. Yeah. Zero page <laughs> homebrew. Homewares. On both sides. <laughs> that looks Beautiful really good. Pillow. This is the little one. I think they came in different sizes. Yeah. Yeah. One, there's one up from this, but this one matches our existing pillows. Uh, the size so. um these ones are a little bigger oh okay yeah but close no they have they they had a bunch of different sizes i think we just went with the smaller one yeah but it's uh, <laughs> yeah if you want this actually turned out really nice i i am actually very I impressed love with it this. yeah oh my goodness actually i think um very clean print and it's nice on gray i don't know if there was options yeah was yeah. there okay i think you can oh pick... yeah there was white and some other options i i think we pick the gray but i'm not sure if you can get different color backgrounds but yeah um that particular website um they do a really good job nice. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that actually it's a nice thick similar to this fabric it's a yep. very thick fabric nice so. bright print 
Very nice. Here, I'll, I'll post I'm liking the, that. The link for you guys if you want. Yeah. So if you want to adorn mugs. adorn your house and oh, show in, the mugs. Show the mug. Oh too. well, yeah. Here's my mug. It's filled with coffee and probably has Actually lipstick being on used it now. This time. Yeah. There's there's the the kitty mug. I don't know if you can see it from this this yeah, distance. That is the kitty mug. So. Yeah. There is the merch, and I did get a notification that the t-shirts have shipped, so Ooh. we may have that in a couple of shows. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it'll take, but mm -hmm. that is exciting. Yeah, very exciting. We can actually wear the t-shirts on the show. Yeah. Um, S. Ramirez already got his shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he we sent a photo. Did we show that on the show yet? I don't think we showed his photo, but... No. Um... Okay. Let's show the, show the photo on Yeah. It. Um, I think you posted it on uh, Facebook and a couple of different yeah. places, but uh, awesome, really awesome. Look, I'm really, I'm really yeah, digging so the Esther pillow. Esther Mares was the first person to get the shirt. Uh, there we go. Let's show that off. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Oops. I think that gray is this gray. It's the same. It's the I same think that's color a brown. gray. Or is it? No, I, I think. I think we demonstrated it with a that's gray a background. Brown. That's a brown there on his shirt. Oh, we're gonna have this argument, are we? I think it's. I think <laughs> it's, it's the golden, same gray. It's golden blue. It, it's gold. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have to let us know if it because I think this is the same gray. Yeah? I actually do. Yeah. I think we because we 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 displayed them with a background, but you can actually choose what color T-shirt you want. Yes. And we displayed it with a dark gray. So. Oh, okay. But um, but anyway, regardless, it looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thanks um, for modeling that, S. Yes, Ramirez. <laughs> thank you so much for modeling that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, really looking good. forward to those shirts. Uh, yeah. I think we got one of each. So, anyway, back to the games. Uh, yes. We're going to be playing. Uh, finally, and we're going to be playing three paddle games today. Yeah. Which lots is of nice because we don't have to switch them out as long as they load. Um, so this is Mondo Pong. Um, uh, Kaboomera! Hi folks, just sign up for Twitch. Figure I've been a little lurker on Zero Page Homebrew streams for so long. It's time to join and be part of Yay. the conversation. Yay! Well, Welcome. thank you. Welcome thank you for jumping into the, the, into the chat. There we go. So, let's try out Mondo Pong. Please load. <laughs> what is wrong with <laughs> I this? I don't know, but it, it seems to be okay switching it over. Like it gets all the way to the menu. Oh, now it's... Oh! Oh! oh. See, it's just very finicky. Odd. finicky. Yeah, very finicky. And we can thank Thomas Yench yes. for making this possible. Making a fix, yeah. So that it displays properly. Nice. Um, so this is a two-player game, exclusively, I think. Oh. oh, you didn't start it, did you? No. Okay. So there is normal and hard. So let's do normal to 15. Yeah. Hard, well, that would be a very long game, right? Because we're playing... Oh, I'm not... Are you moving? No. Nope. I'm not moving. Am I moving? No. Nope. Oh, oh, I'm moving on the left oh, I'm, now. I'm mo no, I'm moving on the left. That's me. Is it? Oh, you... I, I was turned right over. Oh, okay. So... There, two-player. Uh, gotcha. There we go. Okay, so Tanya's on the left. I'm on the right. I my, my paddle must have been totally turned or something. I don't know. Yeah, you have paddle confusion. Yeah, I, I don't play with paddles all that often. <laughs> so it is like Pong, except the balls keep going through. Oh, oh did it just score a goal on me because I backhanded it? Maybe. So if you don't touch it, it just keeps going through over and over and over and over again. Yeah. And they do ah. loop-de-loops as well. Oh, my God. Why are there two? <laughs> What's going on? Because it's Mondo Pong. It's like lots of Pong. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, oh. Ah. There we go. Oh. Who Who won? I guess my points are on the right. So I, I got 15 points. I don't Mondo know. Pong was one of my first cartridge purchases back in the day, along with Okie Doki. Your picks for the first few games inspired me to finally join. Oh. Well, the third game is um, the partner to Okie Doki. Am I doing this? No. Okay. No. Kind of a disadvantage. The person who gets... Oh, I guess it loops around for a bit to get you... So you can sit down before it starts. I don't understand. 
um, Pastella sketch, the third thing we're going to be looking at. Ah! Oh, my ah! God. Um, came partnered with Okie Doki. So I can see why you're inspired. You're like, he's playing all the games I like. All the games I have. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's like raining points. Yeah, for who, though? For me. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! I just scored on myself. You can't. Oh, my God. You can. Oh, damn it. You won that time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure it happened, but sure. <laughs> so let's go to 45. No. Oh, 45. Oh, I guess it does it's make for a fast. long game. It is a fast game because there are two. Yeah. I also kind of wish the paddles were bigger. Just gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. That would be nice. I don't know there if are that's two an balls. If that was the easy, that would be pretty good. Oh, they, they like loop, loop around. I'm doing terrible this Damn round. It. Terrible, right. terrible. Oh my God, that is cheating. Did you just see what that ball did? It went back on you, right? It no, it was looping <laughs> on the right hand side, <laughs> doing its doing its spinning thing and just scoring points. I couldn't even touch it. <laughs> it, it does make for a chaotic it was just going game. Ding 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 ding. Twenty twenty twenty. I guess it is hard. Maybe the hard is more than just the score. It it, it we're not creates... on hard yet. I thought we were on hard. No, we're still on easy or normal. Normal. But no. forty five points. Forty. Oh. I was wondering if maybe it changed the movement because it's longer, so it made them more erratic. No. No, maybe not. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. It looped oh back and went right over. I told you it cheats. It's a cheaty, cheaty game. <laughs> oh, It's God. crazy. Oh, my God. Okay, this is definitely more fun than regular Pong, though. <laughs> Way more fun, because yeah. it's it's just crazy, and you can't... The num the high points are much better to play. It's like erratic Pong is what it should be. Yeah. It's like all over the place. Oh, my God. No. No, no, Ooh, no, 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 no. 42 no. to 42. No, no. <laughs> ah. By that ah. much. Ah. It almost looks like you could spin on the ball remotely with the panel. That would be very cool. That would be neat. But you can't have any effect on the pa on the balls. No. Like the button doesn't do anything. Doesn't seem to. Um, that would Interesting. be cool. Interesting. So. So what's hard? I can't imagine. Oh, that was easy. So this is hard. Do that hard. was easy. Yeah. Hard at to forty five. Yeah, I think so. I have a feeling it's going to go really fast. Yeah, the switches don't do anything. Yeah. As far as I can tell. So I don't know what hard is. Is it speed? It doesn't seem to be moving any faster. Oh my god, what? There are more backwards attacks? Ah! I'm not sure. It is definitely going faster it is and scoring. Faster. I think they're moving faster? More erratic? Ah, oh my god. Stop it! Did you see that? Yeah. It was looping around just. <laughs> Dinging points. On both sides. Yeah, it was just doing a loop behind us. Both. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, gosh. I'm... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's crazy. The stereo is working. In this, in this game, the stereo is being put to good effect. Yeah. Because if it scores point on one person, it's on the left, and it's point, uh, point on the right for uh, the right speaker. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Pong variants allowed to put English on the ball. This seems to be taking up a notch. The English is automatic on this, yeah. unfortunately. I don't know You if... can't you can't adjust it. And and hitting it at any point, like on your paddle, doesn't seem to be doing anything either. Like if you I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh yes yeah just keep doing that both at the same time what is going on what it was only to 15 yeah oh what i thought it did 45 hard apparently not there we go this says it's version one alpha version but in, it, there was no update since 
uh, since this. And it's fully complete. I guess you could have added more variations or wider paddles. Like changing the A... Um, yeah, that would be better on the easy is, is to actually make the paddles wider. And then you can... You get used to it a little bit more. Actually, the wider paddles can hurt you too because they hit you from behind. So the True. wider you are, the more likely you, you are to score on yourself. So um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the wider wider paddles no. don't work with this type wider of Wider would be much better. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think you would score on yourself a lot. You probably would. Yeah. But it would be interesting. It would provide a I wonder. I wonder if they played with that because I find the paddles quite small. They're very small. But the, the, doable, the screen but... is narrower and longer. So, I don't know. They're changing direction. They're not... I think that's what makes this hard. If you notice, they don't go in a straight line. No, they do not. They're like really wacky They're movements. They're like flies. <laughs> They're they like are. flies. They are like, like flies, actually. You could put little wings on them, you know? Oh my goodness, this is terrible. I was just trying to... I was just moving out of the way and letting I know, them go by. I know, but that's what a lot of it is. is oh. Flies. Oh. Flies. Oh, it just oh, barely just beat me. <laughs> Do you control the swirling behavior? Not at no. all. So I'll let you play a one single player game. <laughs> it's really windy in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Lots nope. of tornadoes. Is there? No, no, no. In oh. the... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, so this was made by um, uh, Piero Cavina. Also made INV, INV Plus, Mondopong, and Oistron. Uh, this is altered by um, Thomas Yench, who uh, he said, let's see, uh, after we couldn't get the Mondopong working last episode, due to the line count, um, he said, uh, congratulations on your three anniversaries. Thank you very much. <laughs> we always have three anniversaries every year. Yes. Um, attached is a hacked 262 line version of Mondopong. Maybe you can give it another try. The game is from 1997 where we had utterly... Look at, look at this ball. This ball, I don't know. It is slowly <laughs> moving towards me, <laughs> but it was, it was bouncing funny. back and forth. Funny. Oh gosh, this is terrible. I'm doing terrible. Uh, where we had no utterly sensitive digital displays, which is very, very sensitive. This was on a CRT. Look at it, it's doing it again. It's just bouncing back and forth. <laughs> well, like, what is going on with that? Oh, then now, it's, now then it's, it's... it spins. Yeah. yeah, they're doing that a lot in this game. <laughs> oh, he's very good at blocking. He is extremely good. Very not, good. I do not have the talent of the AI <laughs> when it comes to the paddles. Yes, we got Mondo Pon working. Well, we didn't get it working. Thomas Yance yeah. got it working. <laughs> Um, so, and you can download this version, um, which works with modern displays, um, LCDs, um, in the Atari Age forums under the Zero Page Homebrew Twitch, um, uh, listing, because there is no Mondo Pong by itself listing. Okay, my ass kicked. Um, and he said, when I came up with Flap Ping, that was one of my rare moments for creativity. So he named one of the other Pong games. Oh that yes, had, yeah. That had to name, <laughs> that had to change its name to yeah. Flapping. Came out well. It was, it was um, Joust Pong. Joust Pong. Oh jeez, yeah, yeah, that was hard. Uh, Mondo Pong was Piero Cavina's first programming effort, and the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. And there's an evil variation of the game, and is an evil variation of the game yeah. that started it all. Are you playing? Yeah. No, no, no. It's playing itself right now. <laughs> okay. We'll do another one on hard to fifteen. Oh. To fifteen? That's gonna. That's gonna. Hard to forty-five. Well, it it wasn't. I don't find any difference in the in the difficulty. They all seem <laughs> like maybe a slight speed up in the hard. Maybe. But I don't. What does Mondo mean? Uh, I don't know. Mm, World. <laughs> Usually. Big crazy. That's World. a very good uh, question because there was a magazine called Mondo Two Thousand. Gosh. Which was like a kind of a cyberpunk magazine put out in 2000. Let's see. Mondo. It's a film company. Um, <laughs> Mondo, Mondo. I feel like anything that comes off the AI bounces back. Anything that comes off my <laughs> paddle just loops back at me. Used in reference to something oh, very terrible. Used in reference to something very striking or remarkable of its kind. 
often used in conjunction with pseudo Italian noun or adjective. And the example they gave is, I think it's going to be Mondo Weird this year, Andy. <laughs> it's like it's like the major. It's like the Uber. Uber of major. Like from German, and this is um, Italianish. Uh, in this version, there are two balls, and they have a kind. Of, they each have a mind of their own. Sometimes the ball you got six on them. Sometimes the ball <laughs> will hard. double back after you after you hit it. Sometimes it might spin around in circles for a bit, keeping it on you on your toes as you wait for it to shoot off in some direction. Hopefully not at you. Several game variations that allow you to select one or two players and a score limit of fifteen or forty-five. There's also normal versus hard, but that is not implemented in this version of Pong. I don't know. No, Maybe resets. it doesn't change anything. This is an alpha version of Pong as it was never completed. Therefore, the game doesn't have any polish you might expect from a finished game. Might be a few bugs. Nevertheless, it's an interesting com concept and a hoot to play. Mondo like candy? Oh wait, Mongo. No, Mondo. Some further hacking of this title would be nice. More colors would be welcome. Yeah, you could do colors in the title up there. Colors on the paddle. I don't know what the balls are made of. Um, they look like they're flashing. Mm. So they might be two actual balls. So that means you could have two color paddles and keep the col ball color separate. Um, you could implement the AB switch, the expert mm. and uh, amateur. Yeah. Um, so that you have wider paddles. Maybe. Um, I Like I said, it would be interesting because I don't know if it would necessarily be easier. You'd score on yourself. Yeah. Case in point, I played against no one. <laughs> and somehow no one scored seven points on me. So. <laughs> yes. Um, those are the two things I could think of. Um, speed it up, I guess, for hard. Do, hard doesn't seem to be yeah. actually hard. hard. Hard and easy. I don't feel a real distinction. It, it could be yeah. a little faster, but um, it, it doesn't seem to affect the gameplay too much. But um, but it's very cool. I'm gonna run up and get some coffee. Are you okay? Ready? Uh, you're gonna pour coffee. Okay. I'm gonna get some coffee. Okay, that just takes like five minutes. Okay, go. All right, do you bye -bye. have stuff to talk about? Or... Uh, well, this is not the right time to do it. I don't have to. I can go in a, in a few seconds. Yep. I thought you were gonna play. So. No, it's yeah. not a game. Nope. Okay. We're doing Stella, uh, Stella sketch. Okay. Uh, which is not game like. So. Uh, go for it. Load it up. Uh, bottom one, yep, yeah, if it works. Hold it down. Let's see. It seemed to work after a while. There it goes. Weird, weird. Yeah. Maybe you have to like... I don't know. And then when playing the game, it seemed to work just fine. Oh, that's so. so faint on here. It is faint. For is everybody it showing up? It's fine. Yeah. It's out there. That's fine. Maybe it'll be it better once up. you go in. So this that's is true. Stella Sketch by Bob Colbert. Um, press the button. <laughs> there we nice. go. Nice. I thought that was. Uh, so you shake it. Uh, I think joystick. I might have to uh, select it from here. So we're going to use the Atari mouse. Mouse? Oh no, not the mouse. Yeah, that's not going to There's no paddles. No. Nope. Oh, it's Indy 500. Oh. Would you use the joystick then? Mm. Just go joystick. I think I only have one Indy 500 paddle. Is it usually just one though? Indeed, 500. Driving paddles. Oh, I've got two. Oh, cool. This is like the only game that... Needs one it? of the only games that use these paddles, so we should use them. So what's different <laughs> about them? They spin forever. Oh, okay, Where those cool. have limits. Oh. So we definitely should be using those. Okay. Because that's fun. Right. So I told a lie. We would not be... Open one of those up. Oh, me. You can't yeah. use two, though. Uh, yeah, you do. But you, you have to take two. out the Atari box? Or? Yeah. Because, if you remember, on Etch-A-Sketch, mm -hmm. there's two paddles. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you guys can see it. So let's go to the ND 500. There we are. I 
Unfortunately, the resolution's so low on Indy 500. Oh, oh I get it. You use both. <laughs> Oof. Oh, is it drawing? Yeah, you can see it drawing. Should we both play it? No. <laughs> no. No. Um, Stella Sketch is an Atari 2600 program that simulates the popular Etch-a-Sketch toy. It was written for the Supercharger and would not be possible without the extra memory provided by the Supercharger. Both CD-ROM and cassette versions were released, and Stella Sketch was bundled with Okie Dokie. Unfortunately, the maker of the real Etch-a-Sketch, Ohio Art, forced Bob Colbert to stop selling Stella Sketch. So please don't write him how you can get a copy. <laughs> Stella Sketch supports input via Atari joystick, driving controllers, Amiga mouse, or Atari ST mouse. I don't have an Amiga or an Atari ST mouse. Um, are you doing the Atari logo? We'll see. <laughs> Did I guess right? No. Oh, okay. Um, so this was sold for $15 on CD or $10 on cassette, and this was never on a cartridge. This is only on CDs or cassettes, if you can believe that. CDs or cassettes. Yes. Oh, make a joystick? Yes. I mean, it's not perfect, but sure. It shows up really well on the stream. I think because... Not quite the right It's the S video input on the Frame Meister. I have to adjust the Frame Meister for the different input to make it look better and don't shake your Atari don't shake your Atari yeah that's right ah! it's gonna erase it if you shake the Atari so we've got some instructions here let's read them uh, Stella Sketch is a high resolution drawing program which is crazy if you look at you could fill in any or all of the dots there like each individual dot is possible uh, on CD or cassette because it was for the supercharger. That's correct. Um, not a good show to be viewing in 720p. No, 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 no. This would not be good. And especially not good watching it in not 60 frames a second. This would be a weird mess. Make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second at 1080p. Um, um, it was on CD and cassette because the supercharger loaded through audio. Loaded just like um, old um, computer, like computers from the 80s where they had data sets and loaded their games from the data sets, especially mm -hmm. in Europe. Um, so this was put out on CD and, and cassette and you would hook up the output from the CD player or whatever audio device and you would put it into the supercharger. And the supercharger would have would store the game on it, and the supercharger would plug into your Atari. Um, so he sold this not on cartridge, and because it needed the extra uh, extra RAM. This was one of the very first Atari twenty six hundred programs put out. I think it's third, third one ever made, third homebrew ever made. Oh my goodness, it's not the most accurate. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, not bad. It's it got a could be worse. <laughs> it's got yes. a little button. Woo. Not quite exactly. I think the, the joystick needs to be wider and the button needs to be wider, but you know, That's it's it's an etch a sketch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go, How go do you, get do your you coffee. Shake it? Do you shake it? How yeah. do you uh you press the reset? Oh, that's awesome! Actually, multiple. multiple times! That's so cool! Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is really cool. I'm gonna switch to That joystick, resets. That's... Hmm? I'm gonna switch to joystick. No, but this is this is authentic because you have the two wheels. Okay. Like that's really cool. No, no, you can you can use the joystick. You might as well test it out to see how it works. Oh, I've used the joystick on um, Yeah. The emulator before, so. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, it is challenging. I'll be right back with coffee. Oh, here comes Atari. My co the co-host. He will co-host for the time being. Hey, bud. Are you going to help him? There you go. So let's try and make an Atari symbol. Good luck to us. Oh, it's so slow. 
It's so slow. Why didn't he use paddles? Probably because you can't twist them in infinitely. That's why. Because that would not work. Oh, this is good. This is so slow. Okay. This is terrible. So terrible. What does it look like? <laughs> okay. Down, 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 then across. Yeah, Captain Classic, you guessed it was a joystick. Oh, and you've got a little joystick there. That's awesome. And then up. And then let's go back down again. This one's easy. Easy, 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 easy. Cross, and then this one's easy. How am I doing? What do you think? Cats? All the cats are upstairs. Everyone's abandoned me. There. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, with the Atari 2600 VCS turned off, gently insert your supercharger into the cartridge slot. Plug a joystick, Amiga mouse, or Atari ST mouse into the left controller, or an Indy 500 driving controller into each controller port, which we did. And then blah, 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 loading the game. Let's see the instructions for the Stella sketch. Um... Oh, there's difficulty switches. The speed of the joystick. Joystick, okay, not these. Uh, left difficulty switch controls the drawing mode. Once an amateur, the Stella sketch only draws when either the joystick mouse is pressed. This allows you to move the cursor around without drawing. When this is an expert mode, a, etch a Stella sketch acts like a real etch sketch and draws whenever the cursor is moved. Oh, right, because the original etch sketch, you can't. Arrow. Arrow! <laughs> it's the Atari logo. I mean, it does look like an arrow, but I did my best. The, the two things don't go up quite as high as they should. Actually, they should go right to the top, shouldn't they? Yeah, that's terrible. That's a terrible Atari logo. I apologize to what Atari was. Um, yeah, so you can do it in... The Switch has no effect when the Indy 500 controllers are selected. Oh. I thought I was able to pick up the... Oh, I guess I'm not able to pick it up. So that's only um, with a joystick or mouse. I wonder why they didn't use the buttons on this, because it would have been acted would have acted exactly the same. Just any button press would have been able to lift it up. How'd I do? <laughs> oh, not bad. It's etch a sketch. Yeah, it's really arrow. hard. <laughs> it's more of an arrow. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's tough. <laughs> Curves are just... just you oh, really have to be a talented uh, etch a sketcher to get nice curves. Oh, he dedicated Circles. to this his this to his kitty, Oki. Aww. Oki Aww. who's we, around we for eighteen years. Cat, uh, cat inspired games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he put a picture of his kitty on the front oh. cover of it. Yeah. Oki dokie on the, on the Oki dokie part. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, there's not much else to this game. <laughs> If you can call it a game, it is yeah. interactive. It's cool, though. And there is objectives. And I like the, hitting the reset button to clear the screen. You want to do it touch. this time? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> All gone? All gone. Oh, that's, that's the cursor. Yeah. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. He fun. programmed it so I could, so it doesn't jump all over the screen too. Yeah. So good, good job programming. Nice. Yeah.
Okay, now it's on to what do we have next? Um, I think it's one more. No, we're on to the 7800 games. Yay! Yay! So the first one is Dragon's Cash. Ooh, that looks like a gem game. It is a gem game, and nice. it's a two-player game as really? well. Really? So Interesting. we be playing against each other. Mm -hmm. uh, this is by, this is a brand new, today this version was released, by uh, Todd Fermansky, a.k.a. Revan Tuli. First posted December 4th, 2019, so he hasn't been working on it for a super long time. Mm -hmm. Five months. 48k game i don't know how 700 7800 games work anyway it's 48k um other games he's made dragon's cash for the 7800 um dragon racer trials of the worm for 2600 dragon's descent for the 2600 and he's remaking dragon's descent for the 7800 as well and you can download this in the atari age forums so let's get the joysticks going this is player one might have to configure the joysticks but we'll see Let's see if it remembers from last time uh, switch back over hey Revan Tooley just in time or you're here the whole time <laughs> <laughs> I think he was yes. yeah <laughs> I was just saying hi uh, so let's load up the 7800 the card open going to make a terrible noise for a second. And we're going to mute that so you don't have to listen to it. And I'm going to turn it down so we don't have to listen to it either. And let's load up first game. I wish it didn't make that noise. <laughs> like, is that noise useful for anyone? I'm sure they're just being accurate with it. It's like, well, it makes that noise if you don't have a cartridge in it. <laughs> Maybe. So. How do I get that over there? Can you not move it? Weird. Once it's up. Can you move the whole thing and then... Um, oh, no, because once you're inside, it takes control of the mouse. Oh. Right? Weird. And if I move it over here... And... Let's try and do it... Like, not... Not yeah. full screen. No. Can you move it now? Without yeah. going into it? No. You can't even... That's so bizarre. Yeah. It just takes control of your mouse. Um, maybe there's a way of not taking control of your mouse. Can you use Windows to move it to another screen? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. Just seeing if there's any way to not hit, not totally take control of my mouse. Cause I don't use this program too much. Um, and when you do that, right click. Use the keyboard. There we go. Move. There we go. Yeah. Now I can go full. S nope. That's fine. That's fine. How did we do it last time? I have no idea. <laughs> Just being funny this time around. Okay, that should work. Oh, first it's a bit off. At least I can see it now. Ooh. Yeah, that works. It's cutting off the sides a bit. Okay. We're going. We're happening. Now, of course... I have to configure the joysticks. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not supposed to see yet. No. Now you can see. There we go. <laughs> now you can watch us control the, uh, <laughs> configure the joysticks. Yeah. And that's player one. So let's. Okay, ready? Up. 
uh, up again. Sorry. Oops. Oh my god. What do you want me to up. do? There you go. Down. Left. Right. Button one. Button two. Excellent. Up. Down. Left. Right. Button one. Let's delete that. Too many things in it. Cat butt. There we go. Select E, O, and T. Why would they just pick E for select and P? F Those aren't even in a row. <laughs> and why wouldn't you pick S, P, and R? S, P, R. Maybe they're used for something S -P -R -O -R -T. else. S, P, R. Yeah, select, pause, and reset. Anyway, I am not the one to question this because I'm sure there's logical explanation. Does the emulator not save the settings? Apparently not. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you should be able to do things now. There you go. So music let's give a. you some music now. One second. B? One second. Oh. One second. One second. Don't do anything because you can. There you go. Music going. There. Okay. So we want two players. Um, pick a nice music we're gonna be on only four gems because that's like the easy easy version it sometimes does I think it depends how you close out the menu oh, great dragon's cash is what we're playing from Revan Tuli. actually you play one player first and then I'm gonna talk for a bit and then we'll play well, I'm trying players. to listen to the music but I like D okay gems so I just looking uh, at the options sure. six Four, five, six. Okay. So six is hard. We'll start obviously. with four, one player. Yeah. Game mode: score, race, training, back. Ah, score. Sure. Match three or more gems to score. Press buttons to swap falling gems. I think this is a pretty straightforward game. We'll Th see. Three matching game. Yeah. Fairly, fairly normal three match game. Um. First posted December 4th. Uh, this is from today. It's so brand new. Uh, Dragon's Cash. Match wit and wits and treasures against friends and rivals. Dragons greedily try to raid a legendary ho lost horde of jewels in this puzzle drop match game. Play for score. Race to reach a given score or play in a battle mode. Play solo or challenge an opponent. Battle mode rules are as such. A match set... A match, set up gems, add to your power meter, but will stay on the board. Uh, press both buttons to activate the powered gems. They will vanish and so will your opponent's fallen gemstones. We're not in battle mode. Activate the powered gems, depleting your meter, unless the following gems create another match. We'll get back to that. If you activate the powered gems with a full meter, you also add an unbreakable layer of blocks to your opponent's board, so you can mess with your opponent. Mm. The goal is, as usual, to have your opponent's board fill up with gems before your own. Uh, I've been thinking about this game, about game genres that are absent or underrepresented on the 7800, and by coincidence found myself with friends playing a few rounds of head-to-head -head Tetris, Columns, Puyo Puyo, etc. I decided to uh, try implementing a head-to-head -head Columns style game for this Atari console. Very, very cool. And two-player games are always um, appreciated as well. So, junk you've got in your eye, kid. So annoying. <laughs> um, so today's update he posted, uh, I'm testing the addition of some graphical effects on the battle mode. The dragons flash in color when they're being attacked by their opponent, when their gem drop is rate is momentarily faster. Momentarily faster. Added in a sound effect for when you get a full meter, or make a match with a full meter to remind you that you can and probably should attack. So you've got, you're playing with four gems right now. It has a next gen gem um, indicator, which is always handy, which was uh, there for Tetris as well. And most matching games, they have a next one. Um, you're at level zero. Yes, it's very slow. <laughs> 
you lots of time to think about where do I want to put this? And I believe diagonals work in this game. Yes. Oh yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. That's a big part of the some gameplay. games. Some games don't have diagonals. This yeah. One does. No, this is that's a big part of the gameplay. That's fun. It's a pretty traditional yep. gem game. Yep. Match match three or more. Mm -hmm. Some only do three. Some don't do, do diagonals. Um. Thank you. And it's very nice that it has. Different options. Uh, different options for the different number of gems that you want to match. Are you okay? Yeah. Is he alright? Yeah. Bumper. Something in his fur that I'm trying to get, but I can't find it. So, pretty relaxing. It's not too fast. Maybe he'll add in uh, what level you want to start at um, for future versions, because that would be good. Because I'm sure somebody who's like really, really good at this game wouldn't oh. want to play at this speed. Oh, this they'd speed want is to, very slow. They'd want to start at like um, level nine. It, it does go up, or does the well, it speed has increase? It, it has zero. We don't know. I don't know yet. He, he may or may not have added that in. But it does have a level indicator, so I'm guessing that there is a level increase. Uh, with four gems, you can often set up matches and chains by accident. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I sometimes just place a ton of gems at random at first. Mmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go. Yeah, Trouble. Um, Revan Tuli, is there uh, levels implemented yet? Oh, go for a four. Go for a four. I've gotten fours before. Oh, okay. Um, and what... What you need is a five. Is it by score? Um, how you go up the levels, or is it by number of matches, or length of play? Oh, there oh, you go! Hey. 250 is when you go up. Speed increases with level. Okay. I mean, oh, perfect. You can get a double. Oh, for one more. One more. There. Boom. Boom. It's, so it's slow enough that you can just, like, hmm. Think about what are my options? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, two doubles. And I believe you're using TIA sound, because I think I saw that in the discussion, and you're commenting about the off-tune <laughs> off music, and you thought it was kind of charming. It was like, a little bit off-tune. Setting something up. Rather than going for the... Levels increase by number of blocks. Oh, it's not by score. Okay. So if you just slammed a ton of them down, or is it by matches you mean? Or is it by blocks dropped? Because if it's by blocks dropped, then levels increase even if you start just dropping things like crazy and not make matches. I like the treasure glitter effect. Yeah, there's a lot of little things going on here. Nice things on the side. A little dragon. Um, the dragon that's flapping its wings over there. The glinting of the of the different gems. Yeah. The blue will go. Oh, it's random too. Blue, red. It just kind of flashes up. And then up. sometimes the yellow will go. Very, very nice. It's, it's a really nice looking game. It's kind of a strategy to score as much as you can in the lower levels. Okay, so yeah. it is literally by the number of blocks dropped. So you want to get as much score in the easy levels before you get to the hard ones. Yeah, because then when it starts getting really fast. Then you're in trouble. Um, I mean, it's a very slow-moving game. If you want me to restart at a higher level... I don't think there was an option. If you want to... Well, we can... So, P for pause. Okay. Mm -hmm. kind of didn't work. Hmm? I have to press pause like three times to get it going again. Okay, reset. What is it? S? Well, didn't you... R for reset? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. One second. Oh, you can keep playing. <laughs> no, I can't oh, okay. control it anymore. Uh... I get four in a row there. <laughs> R, P for pause, S for select. S? Hmm. 
Let me just like delete the reset and just put it as R. And P for pause, just P. Oh, delete. P. Okay. R. R is not implemented. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You have to die, I guess. Well. Uh, S for select. Am nope. I back in control? Okay, press button. Yeah. There we go. High score, 357. Okay, we'll play two players. That's back. What is going on? There, there we go. go. Uh, you're entering nothing. So I know, that's what I It's hard to tell what nothing is. Oh, are. you just restarted it. What are you, what are you doing? I didn't do anything. Just die. Down, 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 down. Zara doesn't do anything yet. I hit nothing and you hit something. Don't no. touch anything. Just give it a second. There we go. Title. There we go. Yeah. Two you players. Change music. Sure. Okay. Um, four gems. Let's do four for now. Or do you want to go up? Six. Oh Six is God. very challenging. Sure. <laughs> Score, race, battle? Battle. That's... Match gems. Press both buttons to use power. Okay, so you go bing for full power attacks, hinder opponent. So you build up your power and then you shoot it at the other person. Is that the yeah. idea? Uh, the shining gems are certainly add an extra layer of polish that elevates all experience. The glitter was fun. I need to be strategic about oh. the color palettes were laid out. Oh, okay. Goodness, I can't move very fast. Oh, oh, I see. And then you go like that. Ha ha. That makes sense. Oh my god, this is the speed of my movement. I'm holding to the left. You push down. No, no, left and right. Left and right. How fast can you move left and right? How fast can I move left and right? How fast can you move left and right? Very fast? Yeah, really fast. Mine is like slow. Look. That's how fast I can move. Really? No, you hit it. Click, click, click. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why yours, yours is messed up then. Is that a known bug? Or is Red that your... Oh. Ah, I dropped it. <laughs> Automatically. Yeah, I can't move very fast at all. Like, That's it's funny. so slow. But that might be your controller, or...? No, it's not going to be Ah! Well, you're going to definitely beat me, because I can barely move. Seven Tilly. No, I just wanted to move it over. Once every five, once every two seconds. That's weird. Very That's weird. Very challenging. Uh, I do not doubt it. Uh. Controller, I uh, haven't the slow side, uh, side to side in my tests. Uh, yeah, it's. It, I can only move. Here, I'll go to the left and I'll hold on the right. Um, now I can show you, but rematch. Okay. okay. I won't do anything. You just, you yeah. just. Oh, oh, I'm moving now. Oh, that must have been something. That must be a bug then. Yeah. Okay, I can move now. Um, there's some sort of temporary bug. Yep. Yay! We can play. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, it was uh, very weird. Not sure why that would be like that. But it's gone away now. Wow, at least many... Uh, Oh yeah, it's way, way more challenging. It's really hard to match things. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> There's a lot of... Maybe it's given out too freely. I don't know. The, um... Oh, it should be challenging. Like we're constantly firing things at each other. Makes for a quick game, doesn't it? It certainly does. <laughs> we had some controller lag when I was playing over the map. Okay. Um, it's not really lag. It's just, it's just not doing. It. It's just slow. Like you can hold it down. I guess it's lag. Oh, God. Destruction. Utter destruction. I want to play with four. Dragon of Storms wins. Great. Build your meters up. Oh. Uh, you can, but the problem, I mean, we have to play with that a little bit more, but because it doesn't clear, it doesn't clear Stop it. what's <laughs> on the screen, then you're playing right at the top for a while. But yeah, That's no, true. I get what you're saying. I, I couldn't quite see. I have to pay attention to where the meter is because I wasn't really looking. Yeah, at I wasn't looking at the meter, so let's do that. So I was just attacking. So it looks like it's the meters on the bottom in the middle. So you're Storm. Yeah, I'm Storm. Yeah, and I'm Ember because it said you won last time. That makes sense. My meter didn't go up. Maybe you need quite a bit. Oh, now it went up. So it doesn't go up every single time you match something. Blast me? Yeah. Huh. I think it I think it negated whatever you did. Yeah, I don't know. It might have. Like you're you, you had did it, defensive. but then I did it. You had defenses? Like in the bottom row. 
Oh, yeah, they don't seem to go away. No. So do I. Is that pushing you towards the ceiling? At least by one row. Mm. How do we get rid of them? Especially with only four. Kill me. Good. It's revenge time. I was doing so terribly for a while. Stacking those stone blocks if you attack. Oh, if you attack with a full meter, it puts that row of blocks on the other person. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I, no. I enjoy just just slamming me yeah uh -huh. i really do uh -huh. that's a tactic too Interesting trade off, mm. like building it up, but you run out of room you building do it up. Run out of room. It's a nice strategy. Yeah, because if you build it up too high, you take on a lot of risk. fun because yeah. <laughs> it's not like normal games where they disappear well, I, I, when I you love, make a match. I love the kind of two-person gameplay too. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. hard enough. You're messing with me too. Okay. <gasps> you died? 
Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Certainly risk reward, but you can combo, combo to, to keep, keep the meter from going away. Uh, yeah, if you if you can if you can get combos on the bottom, yeah. Uh, one more, one more. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Of the same. Okay. Okay. It's fun. Now I'm that I kind of lot. understand yeah. a little bit more of what's going on now. Ah, what happened there? Careful. Yeah, the joysticks are working fine now for me. Um, seems like it was just temporary the first time we I played. again <laughs> I know these games well <laughs> oh my I... joystick's bad again you wanna die yeah I'll die there you go you can win one oh. <laughs> yeah it's like not looking at my input like one oh, two is that ever funny? one two look at this three look at this every two seconds it's reading my input I... oh my gosh oh my gosh I can I can zap mm -hmm. you from doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Just by Isn't that dropping. Funny? Yeah. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Match. Okay. I'll let you play with your joystick. Nope. Still causing problems? Yep. That's so bizarre. It's like requiring multiple. No, multiple presses don't do it. It's just reading it every X seconds. It's funny, it, 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 uh, it gives you a slight advantage in that it'll continue to play and stack. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Look, look. Yeah. I can get you, just from doing nothing. Yeah. That's funny. Well, with four, it's going to be like it's that. It's like random. Interesting. Um, go to the title again, just to see. Two players, yeah. Let's try that. You want to do... Oh, we switched it to four gems? Just four. Just four. Yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, maybe go five gems. Okay. Yep. Let's hope it works. Battle. Okay. Please, joystick, work. Nope. No? No. Uh... Uh... I'll play at a disadvantage. Oh, it's, it's unplayable. Is it? Yeah. You play like that. I can't restart, only you can. Rematch. One more time, see if it works. Yeah, I won't actually play. Is oh, it working now? Oh, we're working, now? yay, it's working again. So it's very intermittent, very intermittent. So that's definitely a bug to look for. one of those before. gives me one less row. Mm -hmm. So 
episode. That's a big, big thing if you can do that over and over again. Yes. But, obviously, as... That takes a lot to do that, though. It does. A lot of patience. <laughs> combos anymore that cleared the screen. Barely surviving. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, you just got me. Oh, the, I had a ton in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I just didn't quite hit my release fast enough there. Very cool. Very, 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 nice very cool. That's Reventory. really fun. <laughs> I, I, I generally enjoy games like that. Yeah. The that's Tetris great. and the gem dropping and the matching. And I love two-player games like that, when you're yes. playing against someone. Where Those can, are just so fun. Where you can affect the other person yeah. by what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, really, really great, Revan Tooling. Um, so let's move on to the last game of the day, which is uh, Spire of the Ancients, which is um, it's kind of, it's just a one-player game. But you do use the second joystick a little bit in it. For inventory. Mm -hmm. It's an RPG-ish game. RPG game. Um, so let's load it up. Oh, I'm going to have to adjust this and get it over to the screen. One second. Pause. Click, move, whoa, move that over. Painful. It's painful, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, oh, it takes up the whole screen. Too. Oh, it's too too big. Probably when I finish it. Minimize it? Maybe when I click on it. Oh, I'm still moving it. There we go. Oh, actually, that's really good. Works out well? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Gorgeous. Revan Tooley. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Revan Tooley. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful title screen yeah, there. Yeah, look at that. This is by Smitty B. I couldn't find out his real name. So your name <laughs> is Smitty B. Um, uh, this was first posted August 29, 2016. So he's been working on this for quite a while. This build is from May 27th, a couple days ago, 2020. 144K. I don't understand sizes for 7800 yet. Other games he's made that I found really quickly. Plum Luck, Spire of the Ancients, and Vox a lot. Um, this is available in the Atari Age forums. It was just posted. Yeah, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I've, uh, when he first posted, he said, I've recently been working on a Dungeon Master-esque maze game in the 7800 Basic, with the intention of maybe turning it into a basic first-person roguelike, but I just flick between different projects and never finish anything. <laughs> Instead of letting it go to waste, I thought if I uploaded it here, somebody can learn from it, or use it as a starting point for another project. So obviously he continued on, mm -hmm. on with it. For the sake of making something quickly, all walls are large banners rather than being made of tiles. Oh, change colors. Um, uh, 
and then he does it. It goes into a couple technical things that I know nothing about for the 7800. Hopefully if somebody finds this helpful, uh, and his post for this one is, it's been so long now since I've uploaded a new build, I thought it'd just be best to post what I've got. It's not as much as I wanted the next posted build to contain, but at least it's something. So, uh, let's press button and get into it. Spire of the Ancients, start. You pursue the hooded figure into the mountains. Oh, whoa, that's not good. Uh, well, it's showing it all, but it's a little cut off. One second, people. Let's make that a lot better. Well, this gives you plenty of time to read. <laughs> yes. Uh, the short, the short story is uh, someone stole a book and you're going after them. The maddening rights contained within the stolen book you now race to retrieve. Now I need to readjust this for next time. It's a little off. A little off. Uh, and just cuts off a little bit. Yeah. It looks pretty good now. Pretty good now. Boom. Yeah, okay. You pursue the hooded figure into the mountains towards the impenetrable spire of the ancients. I guess you are on the horse. You, among few, know of the maddening rites contained within the stolen book you now race to retrieve. You recall the sounds of splintering wood as the secured oak doors of your library's occult section were smashed off their hinges and the footfalls of the escaping thief as your blood ran cold when you realized what had... Oh, not focused on it. No. Okay. Happened with no time to procure so much as a butter knife with which, <laughs> with which to defend yourself, you give chase. With that book in a suitable place to perform the ritual, it would be possible to open a doorway for a lot of uh, uh, consonants. <laughs> a lot of consonants. Licks tentular form so that the world binder may pull our very existence back into the ether from which we came. You return to the moment ahead. You see the figure has abandoned its horse. Oh, it was on the horse. Or maybe you're both on horses. And is now stepping through the trees, carefully examining each as it, uh, one as if searching for something. The dense foliage forces you to continue the chase on foot, but when you close in, your quarry simply disappears behind one of the many similar trees. You finally reach the tree that masked the thief's escape when you notice a weakness in the ground under your feet, and rooting through the dirt and leaves you find a handle to a trap door. Oh, but very nice. Beneath the trap door. Oh, wait. Wait. Just turning in circles. <laughs> The uh, light slowly comes on. Yeah. Nice. So there was a, um, in fact, we kind of missed as it. Um, and that slowly, the light yeah. slowly came on. Beneath the trap door, hit points 10, strength 5, arm 0. Your arm has 0. Oh, you're losing strength and it gains back it again. MP, magic points. FOC, no idea. L LCK, lock. So you've got two arms. Now I played this a little bit. So yeah. one button's for your left. And one's for, one's the right. for your right. But I have nothing in my hand. And so. you've got a compass as well. Yeah, so I know which direction. I. Hmm. Insert suitably maddening name to pronounce here. That's what I thought. <laughs> you just typed a bunch of letters. So you've got a gate there. Oh, you've opened the gate. And. Looks like a pit. That I can't avoid. You've explored everything you can on this level. Unless well, there's... there's no level. It's just one hall. <laughs> unless there's a secret doorway or something. There's back there's at the where other you end of the hall. fell through the pit there. You can't get up. There's nothing other than the fire on the walls. You only have 10 hit points and the monsters you fight will be very evenly matched. So it's not a good idea to just stand there trading blows. Now I'm in a very dark place. 
a guru is going to get you. Thank you. <laughs> Something is coming. Yeah, I can't see anything. Oh. Um, is it possible to have any color in the status at the top? Uh, it would be nice if your direction that. that you're facing were more prominent. Oh. South. That's fine. Mm. Like the actual N would okay. be colorful. It's north. So I played this a very tiny bit beforehand. I'm and you can already. you can turn on and off those la those torches yes. by touching them. No. Um, so really, you're searching for another torch. And it's and it's kind of close by. It's not super close by. Hello, Janzel NL. Oh, arm equals armor. FOC equals focus. Focus. Hmm. Is that like sanity? I've never played a game with focus. Uh, maybe in red or a red arrow. If it has to be one color, then perhaps just an arrow to be more in your face. Hmm. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of a maze. I can't even figure out if... Can I just keep things? going back and forth. Oh, you forth. can see things. It's really dark. Can you see it? No. Like the gray outline? Well, I can see the gray outline. But that's not even accurate. I'm confused. I feel like I'm just going back and forth. I am going back and forth. Yeah, because that gray shows a brick wall, but it's constantly showing brick walls, which is not true. Well, that's then I go this way. Oh, it is. No, it's fine. And then I go back in a circle. Yeah, there are way. There is a way out, though. Is there something I have to see? Because I can't see. Eventually, anything. you'll see it, though. I'm not going anywhere. Just follow a wall. Oh, now, now. There you go. Now you're in a new place. Keep going. Yeah, but I don't even know how I got there. I know it's a little challenging. Eventually, you'll find a torch which will light up the whole thing. It's funny because the torches in this game, now you can see the whole dungeon based on that one torch. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a torch lights up a section. It's more like a cumulative effect of torches, which is a very strange way of doing it. But Going back the way Focus is like the magical, magical equivalent of strength in this. Oh, okay. So you've got magic points and then how... And that's how many you have. And focus is like how strong those magic points work. I think it working now. That's fine. At least you can see. I would just follow the walls. Mm -hmm. There's two options there, clearly. You know how to get out of a maze, right? Get out of a maze? You follow one wall. You follow a right wall all the way around, and it'll show you everything in a maze. Unless you're in a circle, in the middle of a maze, but eventually most of them will. I like the music. Yeah, great music. Very tone setting. Oh, don't go down there yet. I did go down. I made it to there. Yeah. And then when I went down, there was monsters and they killed me because I had no weapon. Uh, so I think you have to find a weapon on this level. Well, I think you might have to open that gate that was there and there was something behind you it. You would need a key or a switch uh, to do that. Bum, bum, bum. Slows down, speeds up. Um, okay, I'm going to read some more. Um, with the monsters, you can run past them if you need to or step away to dodge their attacks. I've not balanced anything, so good luck. <laughs> it's possible to fight everything and live. There are two save points marked by spinning orbs. Stand in the middle uh, and we'll update your password and save it to an high s HSC or save key. I don't know what an HSC is. High score something. You can press pause and reset to quit back to the title screen. Uh, then go to continue to see what your password is. Reloading it will put you to the next save point. That's what I was thinking. Like, put out one of them and it'll act Maybe. as a switch. Like, 
try that one again and see if it opens up that. This one? Yeah, and then go look. No. no. So maybe try some of the other torches? Oh, there aren't any weapons until much later in the demo. Oh. Okay. So maybe I do need to just go down that pit path. Did you turn back on the... If you turn any of them off, it makes it dark, and it yeah. didn't do anything to that get great. Oh, okay. Not that I could tell. Nice first-person type of game like Doom or Wolfenstein, yes. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you go in the pit. I don't know. Is there anything else to up. do in this level? Jump, <laughs> jump, jump! There is no jump. There's nothing to jump to, you know. Or jump in the pit, you mean. Nothing accessible in the demo. Mm, so, yeah. Okay, so don't bother. So find the pit again, wherever it is. Uh, flailing your arms around uses up strength, which will quickly replenish, but when it's zero, you can't attack. In order to get something put together to show the guardhouse interior, it's fairly, fairly bugged and doesn't play as it should, as some of the porticoluses that should be down are up. Others just don't work. And a few of the enemies don't react at all. The few maps past that point, movement between them is seamless, don't have any enemies or items populated, so you need to first find your way around. Oh, little dirt falls. Dirt Did you blood. see that? Yeah. <laughs> now, there are enemies in this level mm, that I died I'm on. Scared. So just careful. That's an enemy. It's like slime or something. It bites you. It's always your first. It's either yes, your slime. first enemies are either slime or rats, basically. Slime so. or rats, yeah. Looks like they're all trapped. But there's a way around to get to them, and that's where you die. <laughs> so try not to go to them. Backtracking? Uh, no. That's where you started. Oh, it is. Oh, what's that? Kick that down. Can you go through it? Can you walk through it? No. Nope. First person dungeon graphics are impressive. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. really nice. Very clean. <gasps> ah! Attack, attack, or run. Eight strength, seven hit points, six hit points, Help. five. Run away. run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Ah! Run away. We don't want to die yet. How, how, how do I even hurt him? Well, apparently not at all, because... I'm just gonna run into another. Ah! Run. Two hit points, one hit points, dead. How do you kill him? <laughs> I don't know. Very cool. Yes, the pit is hungry for souls. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, are you reading okay. stuff or are you yep. gonna play? Lots to read. Read. Well, then we're not playing. You should play. Uh, that's what I mean. Don't stand trading blows with them. Okay. I love how it lights up slowly here. So there's tons of slime, and we should just run past the slime. Because we have no... No weapons whatsoever. That doesn't help. I have to figure out how to find my way back. it's totally dark. This is not the most fun little part of this level, but I guess you only have to do it once if you finally make it to a save point. Oh! Oh, I think I found my... I did I? Oh, there we go, finally. Oh my god, that's torturous. Not fun. What is that guy in behind there? What is that thing? Funny looking. Okay, we're back. Oh. Oh, now I find my way back. Not there. Find the pit again. Let's follow the left wall. Going in 
in circles. No, not. That's kind of new, I think. There's the pit. And in we go. Ready to be killed by blobs again. Uh, they can only attack when they're on the same space, but that doesn't mean you have to stay on the space while fighting them. Okay. So, you'll be reading. Okay. Let's try this level. Oh, you're back on this level. Yeah. Actually, I should face that one. Rustling in the walls. Rustling in the walls. Nice. Um, <laughs> okay, right there. I'd yep. be interested. I'd be interested to see how people find this bit, as it all makes sense when designing the maps, but I'll admit I've gotten lost playing through, so if people think I need to streamline, then I will. <clears throat> Another area I'm interested in getting an opinion on is the very last, which is entirely dark. Mm. The area is actually quite small, and the intention oh, is to force the player to find their way around using sound, but the highlights of the walls should also be barely visible, which they are. Yeah, they're uh, barely visible. If it's too dark, then I'll raise the brightness a bit. I think it's a pretty bit. good. You can you what? can figure it out. No, no, it's... No, you can figure it out. Is that a thing? Is that an enemy? Is that a save point? That's Strength a... is going... Oh, it's a save point. Yeah, it's a save point. Uh, yay! Oh, yay! Yay! Did something. you manage to kill anything, or did you just no, run no, no. away? No, no, no. Oh, my God. They're, oh, okay. dead. They're deadly. That looks like a trap in the floor. I'm not going there yet. <laughs> so Time I've got to a find key. a butter knife. So yes. I've got a key. Um, you got a key? So. It does feel very Wolfenstein. So you can put things in your hand. Oh... Using the other controller. Yeah, so I can... Now I've got a key in my right hand. But you have no door, but that's... Yeah, so I'm not going to put a key in my right hand. Yeah, it does look like there's a maybe trap. a trap door or a trap. I'm not going to go there yet. Yeah, I'll give it. Controls, left stick pad to move and turn, left button to use the item in the left hand as shown in the HUD. Okay, I'm going to walk across it. Right button to use the item in the right hand as shown in the HUD. Ah. Oh, it's... it's it's a little pressure plate. Pressure that, plate. That opens the gate. Let's see if select it does that. Select for next left hand item. Select for next right hand item. Okay, that Maybe one's locked. on the right stick pad can be used to select. Up down on the right stick pad can be used to select left hand items. Left right on the right stick pad can be used to select right hand items. That Time to sense. find a butter knife. Yeah. Yep. So, I've got a key. And it's, oh, I just go through it. Hmm. And I've used it up. <laughs> okay, so I didn't need to actively use it, but I had to have it in my hand. Yeah. Uh, pause, pauses. Is that an enemy? Pressing reset. What's that thing? Looks like a potion. Looks like a poison. Oh, oh. you got it. Oh, okay. So, you can so I can drink it, but not yet. Drink it or throw it on something, maybe? Because I've got 10 hit points, so I'm not going to use it yet. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Ladder. Oh, that gets you back to the upper level. The climb to the plateau. Oh, I can go down again. Hmm. Is this like a place I haven't been? Yeah, because nothing else had a ladder before, did it? No, not that you could go down. Unless... Oh, no, this looks like... That's an enemy. That looks like the level with the slimes. Ah! 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 Use, use the potion. Not yet. I'm running. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, this is the level I was on. At least you can run fast. There we go. Hmm. Very cool. Uh, another door. Uh, Smitty says, The locked door should unlock first before you go through, but they don't yet. There's one that does seem to work properly later on. I don't... I don't have the key anymore, so mm -hmm. I picked one door to go through. Yeah. I'm guessing they all go in... Because I, I can see the locked door now. But he said the locked door should unlock. I guess they, sh they should look unlocked before you go through them. Oh. But they don't. Interesting. That one still needs a key. Yeah. I don't think it... No, maybe it does. Oh. It's the same multiple one. ladders. It's the same one, isn't it? No, the other ladder was over here. Was it? No? Okay. Mm. So I think this is it. Just the ladder to go back up again. Oh, so that's it. Yeah. So you go through the door, and then it presents you with a ladder that you go back. And then there's another door. 
Or that's the door you came through. E yeah. Oh, okay. So I do have so to, you do fight, have to these guys? fight them or use the potion? Potion might kill them. Should I use a potion now? No. No? Confront him and use the potion. It looks like oh. poison. It looks... I, I, I mean, I have no idea, but that's what I would do. See what happens. Well, either my hit points go up or it kills him. One, I, one guy? It's only one potion. That seems like it wouldn't be a thing you would do. Unless you can reuse a potion as a weapon. Gone? Mm, Different side. There it is. Ah, it's not working. The right one? No, it's not doing anything. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the revival potion. Ha 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 ha. Oh, it's a revival potion. We just didn't read for far enough down. So, so that's when you items. Die? Your hands are naturally always available and are the only thing you start with. You can light and extinguish torches, knock on walls to find your way around in the dark, or beat up monsters with your multiple digit meat clubs. Keys, boom, 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 boom. Keys can be found lying around and mysteriously work on doors with the key symbol above them, except not all doors have the proper symbol because bugs. <laughs> because bugs. Uh, only one key can be held at a time, not that you'll need multiple, and the keys must be in hand to unlock the door. Doors don't just unlock themselves if you fa face plant into them with a key in your back pocket. The revival potion is a vial of something bluish with an ominous skull on it. If you're holding it when you die, you'll be revived with a temporary bonus of 10 health oh. to get yourself out of trouble. Well, Doesn't help dying. if you walk into a fan because you'll be repulverized as soon as you revive. Into a fan? Don't re don't walk into fans. I haven't seen a fan. I haven't I seen one either. I haven't seen anything new or a way to get out. There's mm. no more keys. There's only There's a uh, yellow... So try to kill him. Yeah, good. Then you revive. But it doesn't say how many hit points he has. Ah! So he's just. But you revives. now have 15, 14, 13. Yeah, yeah it's just Can you killing not me. kill him? Like, I've hit him multiple him? times. But so. you probably have to hit him even more. Should I just die? Because well, I don't have a potion anymore. Yeah, but That'd be the end of the you game. should have just continued to hit him until he died because you had 20 hit points, but you kept running away from him. You probably okay. should have kept trying. Just keep doing it. Nine, eight, seven, six. Run out of strength. There's a yellow stat-up potion hidden that increases your luck stat by five. Um, the idea being... That to get strength up potions, you need to get through fights, focus up through puzzles, and luck by stumbling across them in obscure places. Two. There's a strength up <gasps> in the guardhouse. You got him. Is that worth it? There's still a million other things to kill. But it's not accessible because bugs. A knife can also be found in the guardhouse, which can do a bit more damage over time than just your fists, but it is basically useless in this demo unless you go back and fight the monsters you've already passed. So, so there's a limit to the number of levels. Oh, he's back. Those guys are awful. Oh, I'm down. I don't know where I'm going. The climb Slots. to the plateau. Ah! And I'm gonna die. Uh, I only have two health. Oh, oh no! And one. Oh, it's slowing. Is that coincidental? The music? Yeah, because you're down to one hit point. Like heartbeat. <laughs> Moving to different areas will reset the enemies because there's just not enough RAM to keep track of them all. Oh. Yeah, so... Well, that's it. I'm I, I, I can't go anywhere dead. else. I there's... think you might be dead. You only have one hit point left. Oh! You got a revival potion! Put it in your hand! There you go. Because it resets. <laughs> yes. Good news! The potion has also reset, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just found that out. But is that it? Is, is... There's something about a guardhouse. I don't think we've seen the guardhouse. There's nothing. I've been through every spot on every level that accessi that's accessible now. Is there more to look at? Is there more levels? Should I be clawing at the walls? Maybe. Well, there was that wall that had little scrunchy bits in it. Look, but the, but hitting it didn't seem to do anything. I can't so. get back to that. No, no, that's fine. Okay. We're, we're just missing something. <laughs> Revives you with plus 10. Yeah, it does, which is why you should continue to hit him, because that's the only chance you're going to get to really. But then it revives me exactly where I died. Yeah, so you have which to is keep right, hitting. Then I have to go run get the potion again, well. or I'm going to die instantly again. I don't know. 
But as soon as I exit the level to go get the potion, he'll be back on that other level. Yeah. So. Do you have to go back to that level? I've looked at every room. Yeah. We're missing something. You got so... F you should be up the line. And did a 180. Yeah. You went back. Okay. I'm up the ladder. I lost track. <laughs> That's okay. We'll figure it out. You probably have to find another escape point. But that is one thing about these games that are you turn left and right. You yeah. cannot keep track of... If you're not controlling it, you have no yeah, idea. Yeah, that's a circle. You just went in a circle there. And there he is. You have to go through him, I think. Did you go through him? Yeah. Now we're up that's another That's the whole ladder? maze. I just went through the whole maze there. Climb I saw the every... So there's one ladder there. Back up that higher. That's it. That's the whole level. I don't know. And he's I'm gone. confused. See, there's two cages there. Yeah. There's a ladder up, and then back here is... Oops. Back here is... That's it. So a ladder down. That's where I came from. This is the only place to go to. I'm so confused. I can't even keep track of where you have it. And then this level, that's it. You're climbing. Yeah. You should be going down, really. You shouldn't be climbing. <laughs> no, you shouldn't be. You I should know. be going down. And... And death. If I fight Just him, fight him. Keep I'll go down to like one hit point. Five. Hooray. <laughs> Nothing. That's where I came from. Two. And then down this hall. It's only one way. Up. And the ladder. I'm just going in a circle. There's only one path. Then I go up again. That's the only path on that level. And then There's up only again. path on that level. And then and I then die. Up. If I don't run from this guy, because I've got five hit points. That's only one path on that level. Like I have no choices here whatsoever. Following one path. Up You're again. Still going up. Up and up and up. Up. And up. There's no options there. There's no options there. Oh, oh, oh. This looks different. Let me go back down there again. What is all this? There's like pits. Pits and pits and pits and pits. How do I... You, go, I, you drop down. I can then, fall in that pit. And then maybe you can get back up on the other side somewhere. There we go. Oh. Oh. You can just go back up on the other side. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait a second. Let me go here. I want to go that way. Can I go that way? I don't know. Maybe you can get around it. If I go around... And that's how to get up. That goes up. Is that how you... But if I go back down... I can go into that pit. This is a confusing part. It is very confusing. And then there's another pit. You can go to the left. This just goes around to the two ladders. Ew. Let's go in the pit here. I don't know. I'm oh, that's it. There's only a ladder and a, another pit. Mm. It goes down. I think I just climbed all the way up. <laughs> just to be confronted with I can't. Neat. The climb to the plateau. You're climbing. No, yeah. You've done another 180. Yeah. So it's very be... confusing, but I mean, that's the point of dungeons so like this. They want me to go down. So I'll go down, and then I hit a point where I can't go down and anymore. And then you get you get died. Two. So I'm going down. 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 Well, you could draw out a map. And very likely death. Nope. No, you guys don't want me to go. It's too hard. <laughs> There's no weapons. We need to draw a map as we go. Beautiful. I love it. Where's my continue? 
I hit a I hit a point. I thought you did, yeah. Oh well. Up <laughs> Up? No. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think we says... need to um you it's probably best to Oh, oh my goodness. This you have to memorize like... your save point? This is torturous. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. It goes to, to F. F. Yeah. And how many is that? 40? 40 times F? Nice. That's a lot. That's called uh, That's an unbreakable called... password right there. <laughs> That's for sure. Not, sure. not sure why I didn't create the password. Yeah, that's okay. Well, this is in um, A700 emulator, so if you need to run it in this to figure that out. This has been flaying down. Oh, eh, gets moved. Cat's getting away. Hi, Katari is just hiding off camera. So, lots of fun. Very much uh, fun. Very confusing. <laughs> but but it, it looks great. Like oh, it looks it's really good. It reminds me of yeah, Wolfenstein games like that. You know, the the dungeon crawling games. Yeah, the it's early great. dungeon crawlers. Yeah. yeah. And I do I do really like um the need little jellos being your weapon. first. Yeah, you do need a weapon or something. Uh, it uh, does use save key if available, yeah. um, which I don't have a save key. Plugged into my that's PC because so cool. that's emulation. Yeah. Um, yeah, the horse is awesome. Yeah. Please put a weapon, please. So at least we can have a fighting chance against those guys. Yeah. Yeah. That very, cool. very good start. Yeah. Very, very good start. The graphics are amazing. The movement is, is perfect. Um, yeah, everything works. In it. Mm. The stuff that's there, it, it totally works. Definitely need a weapon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a knife can be found in the guardhouse, but we didn't find the guardhouse. Um, but he says it's totally useless anyway. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, that's all the games for today. We played Circus Atari. Lots of fun. Um, really good, um, really good game improvement on the original Atari Circus, um, with the balloon. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that develops as he implements, um, the arm processor. Uh, good games and good show. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dan. All very good. All uh, very good. Yep. Yeah, Mondo Pong was a lot of fun. So much fun. Two player Pong. So much fun. So erratic. Yeah. Um, I love games like that that just feel a little bit out of control and those are the funnest games to play with two people and it's it's well, the same a bit of a random chance to it not just like pure well, skill it adds a little bit more to it it's the same element of Dragon's Cash where you know you're you're shooting things and that makes it chaotic for the other person that's what mm -hmm. makes makes two player games fun so really cool and we yeah. played Stella Sketch which is Etch a sketch. Etch a sketch. Yeah. It works. <laughs> works really well. Yeah. Uh, Dragon's Cash, fun two player game. Mm -hmm. um, looking forward to playing that again um, mm. as he improves it and adds more things to it mm. uh, and fixes the second joystick bug. Um, yeah. That was just random. That's kind of weird. That's yeah. kind of weird. It wouldn't have been the joystick itself then, you don't think. No. It, it was, would be a software thing. It was thing. working. Yeah. It, it was, was either working. working or not working. Yeah, very strange. It wasn't the joystick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as far as I can tell. But it's funny that it wasn't, sometimes it was fun. Like, that's yeah. that's a little odd, but, yeah. Uh, and Spire of the Ancients, which is an awesome RPG. Yeah. And it looks like it's going to be a big, big game. It's got a bunch of mazes in there already. Mm. Uh, it needs a weapon. Get a weapon in there. Just something, butter anything. Knife. Butter knife. <laughs> a, a powerful butter knife. Um, you, can, you can, yeah. Yep. Yeah, stab it. S swipe that jelly. Swipe it. <laughs> Um, so what's coming up? It could be the emulator. Yeah. It's possible. It is possible. It's just a little weird that it was sometimes working and sometimes not working. So a plus five. Plus button. five. Yes. It's a plus five butter knife. Yes. <laughs> um, we've got dive kick next episode. That's all I've got. And then the one after that, amoeba jump the last day for putting in a score for the 2020 harmony games. Um, and then two day, two shows after that, uh, Galagon will be Harmony Games number four. At the end of the month, at some point, we're going to be doing a spotlight on Thomas Yanch, um, in conjunction with the upcoming Robot City retail release. Uh, 
don't know what day that's going to be. It's probably going to be a Sunday mm -hmm. um, so that we can do it early so it works with his time zone okay. in Europe. Um, and um, yeah, we'll see how the Thomas Yanch spotlight goes. And then we will plan for more of those. Um, focusing on specific Sp pe people in the game developers. They developed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Sunday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So people in the Netherlands can watch. Yes. And <laughs> um, um, so we'll do other spotlights, say on Daryl Spice Jr. or John Shampoo and other people who have who have done a number of games, so we can run through them. Yeah, not go just, through a bunch of different games. Not just games. one game, yeah. but a number. And, and like we've at but this point, we've played most of the games by most of the developer, the big ones. Yeah. And now we're either doing brand new games or, or diving way back into, into the archives. Games. Yeah. 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 And, and branching out to Atari 7800 yeah. games. Yeah, there's a lot of 7800 games, so... Yeah. yeah. And we probably start introducing some high score challenges again more regularly. Yeah. Some of the um, um, Activision challenges and the um, Imagic challenges as well. And trying to just finish off games that are long, like not just the repeating level games, but the ones that have an end goal. Um, one of them's like Blinky Goes Up, one of them's Caverns, one of them's Reindeer Rescue, and Stay Frosty too. Mm. So that we'll just do a bit of each at the end of a show, um, and we'll try and complete those games and get them done. Cool. Um, so thank you everybody for tuning in on this Sunday on Zero Page Homebrew. Janzel and Al, Rev and Tooley, thank you for being here. Yes. For your awesome game that we played. Uh, Carl G, uh, Dan AVC, Smitty B, thanks also for yes. hanging out. And thank you for making that awesome game. And uh, there's other games that you've made that we'll play as well. There's a pipe a pipe game one. You, you know those games where you put yep. pipes together yeah, and the yeah, water yeah. goes through them oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. those are fun those were th that was like action puzzle games yeah uh skimble welcome yeah that's a new name uh, uh let's see oh, mark, uh, space mark space hey mark space yeah uh dan avc splendid nut ricardo, uh, ricardo pym uh cafe man 2d captain classic yeah alan f4 uh kaboomer aa hmm Mm -hmm. That's a new name. Mm -hmm. They said they they jumped in after lurking. Oh yes, that's yep. right. Mm -hmm. um, I supposed it was there. Prow, Prow seven. seven. Packrat. Uh, Great offender didn't say anything. Yeah, <laughs> but they did resubscribe. Nice. Thank you so much. Eight, and subscription from Fool is in there. Ground Trooper. Yeah. Eight bit Fool. Oh, yep. that's a new name. Yeah, I've seen Four. that name before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Drog. NES Drog, yeah. welcome as well, and uh, thank you also everybody on watching on YouTube mm -hmm. and the people who are lurking, mm -hmm. and we'll be back on Wednesday yes. evening, 6 p.m. for some more gaming. Yay! So thanks for hanging out, and we will see you on Wednesday. Yes. Bye, Bye. everyone. <laughs>